This All is coming right. up here. Everybody needs a new golf bag. Let's sell it. What are you going to do? Give me a hundred bucks. Bit him a hundred. I got a hundred. Now twenty five. Now twenty five. Now twenty five. Now a bit of a buy and buy twenty five. I got one twenty five. Twenty five. Now fifty. Now fifty. Now one fifty. One fifty. Fifty. Now seventy five. Bit him one. One seventy five. Now two hundred. Two hundred. Now quarter. Now quarter. Now bit two hundred. Two hundred. Two, oh, I got 200 two down quarter? here. I need a quarter. Two qu it's been only a two and a quarter. Bucks. Quarter bit to do 20 pounds. Not a bit to buy and buy 20 pounds. It's 220 pounds. Not a bit to buy 25. 25. Now 50. Now 50. I got 50. 50. Now 75. I got 50. You got to be 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. Now 300. Three. Now 25. Three. Three 25. Not a bit to 325. 25. I'll give you the 25. 50. Bit him to 350. Bit him to 350. Not a bit to 50. 50. Bit I got 350. Now 75, been to 375. 375. I got 75. You got to be 400. Been a minute, 400. I'm a bit of a poor. Hit 400. I'm a bit of a poor. Four, bit of a poor. 400. Four, four. Now 25. Now 50. Been a minute, poor. 50 dollar. Been a minute, 50. 50. Been a minute, poor. 50. We been a minute, poor. 50 dollar. Been a minute, 50. 50. Been a minute, 50 dollar. Been a minute, poor. 50. 50. Been a minute, poor. 50. We been a minute, poor. 50. I'm gonna sell it. I need 450 from you. 450. 50. Now 75. Now 500 from you, Kenny. Bid him at a 500 dollar bid, bid a 500 bid five. Bid 500 dollar bid, bid a 500 bid, bid a 500 dollar bid, bid a 500 bid, bid a 500 dollar bid, bid a 500 dollar bid, bid a 500. You bid him at a 500 dollar bid, bid a 500 bid, bid a 500 bid, bid a 500 bid, bid a 500 dollar 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 bid, Buy 50, 50, bim and a buy 50. We bid him at a five hundred and fifty dollar bim and a fifty, fifty, bim and a fifty dollar bim and a fifty, fifty, bim and a buy fifty. We bid him at a five hundred and fifty dollar bim and a fifty, fifty, bim and a buy fifty. And I sold them down here in the bottom. Five hundred twenty-five dollars. Thank you. So close. We almost got it. They're getting warmed up up here, though. That's good. All right. Jack you want to walk up here and meet me right here at the bottom? favorite people in the whole wide world. I had a lot of them. This is one of them. Lake Island. Lake Island. Lake Island. Lake Island. Scott Long brought to you by Skidoo Pure Adrenaline SLP Maxima. Dave Smith Motors, GNC, RVs, Northwest, Teton Performance, Custom Drywall and Insulation, Perfection Tire, Fox Trailers, his wife Debbie and his daughter Brooke, a racing family. Debbie's been sitting out a little bit except for the fun stuff, but Brookie really doing well here in Jackson this year in the women's classes. Not as good as she wanted to, but by golly, what an incredible young athlete she's becoming. Scott, very proud of her. Scott had to take a, a season off here a couple of years ago and came in and uh, took over some of the or took over and helped me out with some of the announcing duties. So good to see him back in the saddle and charging the hill here at the World Championship Stoneville Hill Climb in Jackson, 47th annual. Can't remember how many times we've had to shut her down a couple times for no snow and one time for the C word. Scott Long running into a little trouble right there. Careful with that knee. Oh boy. 
all the hill help in the land. That is a human avalanche. Holy Toledo. Let's hear it for the hill help again, folks. Make some noise for them. I don't know if they can hear, but we'll tell them about it later. Impressive, to say the least. Couple of them underneath, a bunch on top. Holy smokes, what a pile of humanity we got going on up there. Congratulations, Jacob Pilgrim. You won a three-pack of Rednecks Best Mini Fire Starters. Jacob Pilgrim, head down there, get your three-pack. Here we go. See what happened with Scott Long right there. Tried to use a strength. Sled says, I'm going to ride you for a while. Slaps him in the back of the helmet. And the hill help moving in. Look at all that snow coming down with them. It's like, everybody get a hold. It's a party. Wow. I don't know who you decide to give the $20 bonus to on that one. Well, there's Mr. Blair in his Hawaiian shirt. He's like, I'll stop it. No, I won't. Guys. Wow. Impressive. Thank you, Clam, for the instant replay and Levin Digital for making it happen for us. That's amazing. All right, here's another instant replay. So glad he's okay. That's a hard hit right there for Mitch Sherman. Never like to see that ragdoll stuff, but there is a reason that it's a sanctioned race and all of that safety equipment is required, saving lives time after time. A quick fast forward, see him getting up under his own power. That's an athlete right there, no matter how you look at it. We're going to get Scott gathered up. I think I heard him say clear. Hill helps like you're sending another one. Going to go with race number 107, Danny Johnson. <laughs> Brought to you by Skidoo, Wasatch Development, Fly Racing, Action Race Team, Empty Pockets, Performance, Tempest. Bobby Joe and the boys, Jet, Jarrett, and Jagger. Or I guess I should say world champion Jet. That's right, proud father of a world champion right there. Danny Johnson on the hill. 40 years old, right as to do. Still got Tim Mackey and Chad Free, then we're gonna go into nine mod after that. This one, two more, 900 mod coming up. Jason Ribby, Todd Tupper, Jim Marshall, Todd Tapio, first three up. Uh oh another sled coming down the hill. He'll help move. I just can't believe with that velocity, those guys will just jump in and throw their bodies right in front of it, try to get her shut down. Good possibility there will be a run on ibuprofen in the town. Might have to go to the next county over to get some. Seven qualifiers will come out, and Pro Master Mod got 
Which it looks like five times on the board right now. If Tim and Shad can get up and over and get a time, it'll pretty much guarantee them a run at the hill tomorrow in the final. Tim Mackey on the hill, racer number 32 out of Clark, Colorado, 50 years old, riding Articat, brought to you by Articat, FXR, Speedworks, SSI, Black Diamond, Extreme, KTM Companies. Making his way up the hill, like I say, unofficially a time, we'll get him a shot at the hill tomorrow in the final. He's making pretty short work of it so far. Cell. Oh boy. Oh no. Heads up on the catwalk. Oh boy. That's uh Yep. This is going to be a big one. Hold on. Oh, nice. Not too bad. Sled's like, all right, you got me. I'll give up. Yeah, that was about as gentle a catch as I've ever seen at that speed. All right, going to the climb instant replay. We see where things went wrong right here. Found traction where I don't think he was expecting it to be, setting up for that turn. Tim Bales. Wow. I thought it was going to stop there. Nope. And it's like, catch me if you can. Yep, nope. And the catch. Yeah, that was, that was pretty lucky right there. The skis took the high road. 
went through the upper part of the net right there. I think that changed all of the, uh, what would that be? Physics, I guess. Well, while we get that out, it's my understanding that there's a birthday up here. Oh, they're clear to go. But uh, is anybody celebrating a birthday up here? That's right, I'm out of the trailer. Are you Di? Where's Di? Hi, Di. Di Zokshevsky celebrating a birthday today, 21 years old. She's actually allowed to be up here. Congratulations. The hill's clear, but I think we should sing happy birthday, right? Happy birthday to you. I'm glad that was directed at you. Happy birthday to you. Keep it up. I got to go and out. You got to sing to right. Racer number 108, Shad Free. Jackson Wyoming, 52 years old, riding Skidoo. Chad Free from right here in Jackson, riding Skidoo, brought to you by Rocky Mountain Power Sports, Garden Creek Ranch, Free Enterprises, Zollinger Racing Products, Peak Appraisals, Tempest Optics, Curve Industries, Teton Performance, Slednecks, Family Support coming from Allison, Lexi, and Kane. And again, a time will pretty much unofficially guarantee him a seat at the finals table Test. tomorrow in Mod. Chad's been up and over a bunch of times here at the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. 2010 Improved Stock King here. 2019 Pro Master Improved Stock Champion. 2001 X Games Hill, Cre Hill Cross Finalist. Well, unfortunately going to wind up taking a high mark. Only five times, so your final results is as far as who's going to the finals is going to come out in a high mark, and we'll get that up for you once we get all that information gathered up on the Players Leaderboard here in just a little while as we get ready to go to 900 mod. Seven will qualify. Seven out of 21. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the players' leaderboard for Pro Master Mod. Carl Kuster getting up there quicker than anyone in the class. Trent Hansaker in the number two spot. Dolan Phelps in third. Todd Tupper in the number four spot. And Rick Haglund looks like might have had a high mark right there. So two more will get in. And again, that'll be posted as uh, high marks once that information comes in. Big thanks to players and the players leaderboard. Unofficial results as things stand right now. That's just how it is as we see it. Getting ready to go now with racer number 77C, Jason Ruby. He's brought to you by Sadu, Carl Cooper, from Mountain Park, XPS Fox, Suppressing Rusty King, his wife Jen, two, two girls, 
CK Yo. race team lending support. Gonna set the bar in 900 mod qualifying. That looking, people. 21, I believe, will run. Seven are gonna qualify and come back tomorrow on finals day. The Glenn's got a handful of cool things we're going to be auctioning off. Obviously, the rifle coming up in a little bit. But just so you guys can do whatever financial stuff you need to, you know, second mortgages, things of that nature, uh, tomorrow we're going to be we are going to be auctioning off. I believe it's four tickets to a Rockies game. The seventy-six acre course field. Game's going to be June 21st at 6.40 p.m. versus the Nationals. Your seats are located in Section 131 inside Coors Field and can be accessed by entering Gate D. This is going to be four tickets for you. We're going to auction that prize off tomorrow. I think. Unless it's today. I don't know. You need to call your banker. Do what you got to do. Oh, Ribby. Not the kind... A bow tie that was our audio. you want to do right there. Looks like Ribby going to start you off with a high mark. Going to go to the climb instant replay. Let's see, just, yep. Gravity took over there, pushed the nose the wrong direction on the hill, losing momentum. And that's all she wrote. I want to throw out a great big thanks to the Virginian Lodge and Saloon. Pretty dang fun being down there again. Hello. Test. Test. As I was saying, the Virginia keeping it Western. You can hang your hat and stay a while. Retro-inspired Wyoming Lodge has everything you need for a memory-making stay. Vir Virginian Lodge and Saloon is hosting an after-party this Friday and Saturday for Hill Climb fans. 21 and up, enjoy live music, DJ, food, drink, and specials. Starting at 8 p.m., going till late. See you down there tonight. All right, here we go with race number three, zero top tough on the up and over once. Living in Fairfield, Idaho right now, 55 years old on an Articat, brought to you by Articat, All-American Drilling Fly Racer, Fox Shots, Shots, SLP.
Clouds moving back in, kind of uh, making a mess of things again. Tupper out of our view at the moment. Hey, Kenny, yeah. looks like we got a minute. Oh, nope, we got an all clear. We're going to wait <laughs> for the next one. Well, I guess it's a safe bet that Todd Tupper wound up with a high mark up there as we get ready to go with racer number 47, Jim Marshall, 64 years old. Took a bit of a spill in the Pro Master class, but he's going to take another look at it in the 900s, running with the younger bucks. Jim Marshall, again, is on that first gen. Bloomington, Idaho, 64 years old, riding Polaris. That little spill didn't slow him down even a little bit. Marshall, 64 years old. Got an, an echo, echo guys. guys. Jim Marshall brought to you by Players Industries, Reeves Renderings, Rendering Bumpers, Gates Belts, Rail Pros, Carl Malone, Players, Castle X, Carl Cycle, Cold Cutter Screws, Logo Concepts, Ralph Smith Trucking, Desert Dog Graphics, Castle X, SLP, Onyx Off Road, Darren Gould. Family support from his lovely wife, Tammy, and four kids and 11 grandkids. Catwalk going into the clouds. Well, your guess would be oh, oh, very very good. where he's at. What do you think, Kenny? You want to leave your perch for a minute? Yeah, let's, let's sell some stuff. All right. We've got Charlie's stool up here. This really nice Coors Light cooler donated by the great folks at Coors. Once again, everything we do on these auctions goes back in and the snow devils help the community. They've got scholarships out there. People in need, they take care of, help with the kids. Over the years, they've give away over a million and a half dollars, and once again, it's because of you great folks. So let's have an auction. Let's sell a cooler, don't a Coors Light cooler. 
Let's sell it. What are you going to do? Give me a hundred bucks. Been, I got a hundred, now half. Been one and a half, half, been one and fifty. Hit one fifty. Been one fifty. 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 One fifty. 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 One fifty. Fifty. One fifty. I got two hundred. Been a two, two. You get one fifty, Kenny. I do, I do have, I got you a 150, right? Okay, now, I yep, uh, now I need 200, been a minute, 200, I'm a bit minute, two. It two. I got two, I, now 50, been a minute, two, 50, 50, been a minute, two, 50. I got 250. It's 250, now it's 300, I'm a bit minute, three, three, bid three. It's 300, I'm a bit minute, three, three, been a minute, 300, I'm a bit minute, three. You've been a minute, 300, I'm a bit minute, three, three, been a minute, 300, I'm a bit minute, three, three, been a minute, how about 75? Been a minute, 275, not a bit minute, five, five, 75. It's mine. Right. Now three hundred dollar bim and a three. Now, now Hit three hundred dollar bim and a three. Three bim and a three hundred dollar bim and a three. I got three. Three now twenty five now twenty five now three twenty five. Hit three hundred twenty five not a bim and a five by twenty five. Bim and three hundred twenty five not a bim and a five by twenty five not a bim and a five by bim and a three twenty five. And I'm going to sell it your way, Kenny, for three hundred. I'll bring it up. Thank I'll you. I'll point you in the right direction. Oh, did you just get in trouble with her for doing that? Oh, all right. I mean, I hate to be an instigator, but no, I like How about that. Now? Never mind. All right, here we go, racer number three eighteen. In nine mod hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Once again, Kyle Tapio coming out of Battleground, Washington, riding Articat. Brought to you by Articat, Fly Racing, Boondocker, Speed Shop, BCA, Fox, Back Country Access, yeah. SLP, Ibex, Load Tracks, Zollinger Racing back. Products. Are we yeah. echoey? Yeah. Tapio Construction. Family support coming from his wife, Edith, kids, Aaron, Hannah, Nia, Galea, Tyrus. Six-time world champion, king of kings. Ten times class winner here at Jackson. And two-time racer of the year. Kyle Tapio in the fog. Nope, I see hill help moving in. Wonder how dense the fog is up there, like actually in it. I wonder if visibility is becoming a factor for our racers. We've got a couple that have been up and over already that can't seem to pull it off in the nine mod class. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday Mod Day in Jackson. That is a full infield right there. So glad to have all of you here live and in person. So cool. Everybody waving. Yes, that is a great day at the World Championship Hill Climb. Finals day happening tomorrow. Mod Day right now. Good stuff. Glad to have you all here. And if you're watching from home, we just want to show you what it looks like here. I'm watching from somewhere warmer. It's actually been extremely pleasant all weekend here. Well, starting on Thursday.
All right, looks like we're getting the all clear to send the next. <laughs> getting ready to go with race number 112, Justin Thomas, Idaho Falls, Idaho. He is quite possibly the fastest one on the hill so far today. He's 27 years old, riding Polaris, brought to you by Polaris Fly Racing, Fox Maverick. Zebros Exit Shocks, Thomas Racing Factory, Tad Jenkins Auto Group, Zollinger Racing Products, Bikeman Performance, Skins, Carl Cycling Sales, Renton Coil, Spring Woody's Traction, SLP, VP Fuel, Onyx Off-Road, Arctic Effects, Players, Engineered Lubricants, Family Support coming from Tennille, Vivian, Mom and Dad. As he approaches the line right here, get ready. I think we're going over the top. And Kenny, I'm down here in the infield, and man, is it packed down here today. Great bunch. Looks like the beer is flowing. Everybody seems to be having a good time. And I'm not seeing much of the line over here. That's Stop over here. See our good friends down here at the Shriner booth. Get your tickets bought and a chance to win this brand new skidoo. We're going to give it away tomorrow afternoon. This is donated by the Snow Devils with a lot of help from a whole lot of great people. Tickets are just five bucks. How about piece. now? Ooh, five we might be better now. 20 or 20 for 100. Stop down, see the Snow Devils down, or the Shriners down here. Get your tickets bought. And while you're down here doing that, stop over and pay our Junior Devils a visit. They're down here in the infield selling our official soft drink, Mountain Dew and Pepsi. Stop down, see the little devils, pay them a visit, and buy yourself a nice cold drink. One twenty six fifty three. Justin Thomas fastest time of the day. Wow, that's good stuff right there. Look out, Spanky's headed up. Race number two three zero. Blaine Matthews, Plano, Wyoming. Thirty one. Scott Ryden, Skidoo, brought to you by Skidoo. Five hundred nine. SCS Unlimited. XPS Lubricant. All right, we're back in the game now. Supplements. The J. We got Blaine on the show. on the hill. Speed Shop Incorporated, Cheney Landscaping, Star Valley Skidoo. My boy. Insulation Incorporated, Arva Avalanche Equipment, Oxbow Gear, Carl Cooster Mountain Park, No So Patches, Outlaw Tees, Family Support coming from Mom, Bry, Ethan. Girlfriend Gracie and grandparents. Six time world champion, two time Rick Ward Memorial Sportsmanship Award, six time Rimshaw Point champion, 15 Pro King titles. Do they have to read every Skidoo single ambassador, Blaine Matthews? Like achievement of these guys? Jeez. The hill. Get it, Spanky. Yeah. Come on, Blaine. Justin. Oh man, 128.36 for Blaine Matthews, 128.36. The pressure's on now on our next racer, number 711. Oh Pete boy, KC 711. Montana brought to you by Players Industries, Climb, Onyx Off-Road, Walker Evans Racing, Logan Coach Trailers, KC 711 Edition, Beaverhead Motorsports, Maverick Adventures, First Stop, Carl Cycles, Polaris Engineered Lubricants, Arctic Effects, Graphics, Timber Sweat, 
Skids Protective Gear, Zollinger Racing Products, Gates Belt, Centennial Livestock, high quality beef, starting line products, Venom products. Performance, all kids, bike, non profit, added products, caliber products, stud boy traction, oxbow, gates, belts, Kelly Smith trucking and excavating, CTI knee braces, power tech, diesel performance of Idaho Falls, Patrick Custom Carbon, Ice Age Performance, RCS Titanium Springs, Thermos Racing, and Conrad Bishop, Bishop of Idaho Falls. And the crew is wife Katie's son Knox and daughter River, mom Maggie, Dude, dad Fred, McCann, so many Dale, sponsors. We gotta not do that, okay? Happen right Just here, Keith Curtis. The pressure on. All right, up over the second mom. catwalk. Here goes Keith. We're racing now, folks. Looks like the fog lifted is gonna be good here. I'm not sh so sure that these last three racers did not scare the cloud away. That would We're happen as soon as the big boys go. The fog goes away. Good for them. Sucks for everyone else. Keith is just so good at like using his whole body. Like he's just so tall. Yeah. Oh, That'll there he, he's like, hey, boys, I'm here. 124 31. One, what two, was that? Four, 12 seconds faster than three, Blaine? One for Shit. Keith Curtis. Getting faster and faster, folks. Race number 285, Aaron Sturt, Cash or Crash. Out of Pinedale, Wyoming, 35 years older. I just could do. Should be over mo er, nine mod right now, guys. Jackson and Faith. Go, Daddy, go. Aaron Sturt on the hill. One thirty-three, thirty-eight, I believe. Saw a little bit of contact there, but I think I don't know. I'm not gonna make the call, but we're gonna call it one thirty-three, thirty-eight. It is game on now, folks. Racer number two seventy-eight, Bo Richin on the starting line, Idaho Falls, Idaho, twenty-nine years old. Riding Polaris, be followed by Riley Sprunger, Calvin Ehrman, Dane Elliott, Jordan Stank, Colton Olstad. The list goes on. As we get ready to go with Bo Richin. Brought to you by Players Crime, Deviant Inc., 3D Logic, Thomas Racing Factory, Power Tech, Built T, Backwoods BMP, Woody's Traction Screw, Imperial Cleaning, Arcadia Ag, Teton West, Extreme Electrical, The Smith Group, BMP, Backwoods, Woody, Auto, Action Motorsports, White Jaden, Denim, Dak, Dad, Robbie and Mom Stacy, we're going to the top of the hill with Spanky and It's going to be real interesting to see All if right, any. Blaine All right, Mac, let's listen to Blaine Spanky talk, and then I'm going to say over the shit. top for this first time today. We were just sitting here chatting about the weather, and I was just commenting, you know, it's kind of nice to see the bottom of the hill now. Yeah, no, it seems like a few of us in Nine Mod uh, made a deal with the devil for the, some sunshine, so we're okay with that. But uh, feels super good to be up here. You know, get that first one out of the way. Uh, clean up the next run and make it a little quicker yeah the sled looked good sounded good i don't think you have anything to worry about there just uh figure out your lines and, and get up here again man 
Yeah, absolutely. The team down there at Skidoo, they got my sled working really good, so uh, I feel super comfortable. Now just uh, clean up some lines, but like I say, got the first one out of the way. I'm ready to roll. All right, good job, Spain. Does anybody we'll know this one? Again, Remember this? Good luck. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Buddy. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate car, it. Car ran real, real oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Nate, up there doing the coverage. I know you're getting lonely up All there. All right, see these guys in the, uh, the hill help with the helmets? Those are the those are the Lynx boys. Bo Rich on the hill right now. I don't fall. Colton Sturm's there. He's the all-star hill help. He should win a trophy for his efforts every year. I can see. I know which one he is, which, by the way, he's standing. Pushing, getting it, moving again. Well, Mr. Blaine in his Hawaiian shirt, he's ready. And Hawaiian shirt guy. Hawaiian shirt guy's all time. Trying to kind of break it out of the trench. Get it off the footboards, get the track some traction as as it's called looks like he's gonna throw in the towel doesn't want to it's just kind of the way things are gonna go high mark for Bo Rich and as we get ready to go with racer number 515 Riley Sprunger Butte Montana riding skidoo that's right I said skidoo There he is, right here. Colton Sturm, ladies and gentlemen. He's helmet guy. He's got the helmet on. Big thanks going out to Serve Pro faster to any disaster like it never happened. Serve Pro of Jackson Hole. He'll to here to help 24 7 with all your cleaning, restoration, and construction. Chat, how are we doing? We got GoPro. What's, here what's this going year. on, people? Ex we got 43 people watching. To help and hopefully, GoPro. I just put an Instagram Design story out. So as it the GoPro as that goes, GoPro hopefully, we get some, we get some more people in here. Hand. Check out. GoPro's new Hero 12 Black Creator Edition, an all-in-one content capturing powerhouse. Locky asks, hey Ross, as a 15-year-old, how would you try to make snowmobiling a living? Features up to two times longer run times, even in cold weather. Huh. And delivers the wide And the route that I took was in pretty interesting. I obviously got some good breaks, but uh, I mean, now it's so content-driven, and like Hero me personally, I feel that the content the isn't game. that... The, the bar isn't set that high so if you have a bunch of friends that create riders also and you go ride together you could actually like just start making stuff and i mean that's the direction it's gonna go for sure the snowmobile industry is like honestly it's just probably five years behind outdoor industries and uh so you can just look at like i always look at what the mountain bike industry is doing and what well. snowboarding skiing all those guys are doing and then you know based on media wise it's just like carving out your own your own spot so i mean if you look at like muskoka freerider right now that dude just makes a video every day and you know his production value is is pretty good but it's not that it's not crazy high his riding's pretty good it's not like it's not like andreas bergmark doing backflips but he just creates something that people know that they can go watch all the time and you know he's He's really taking things by storm, which is great for him. Chance, yeah, I think I'll be doing this tomorrow also. Chancer. Cancer survivor. I thought it was Chance. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Oh, yeah. Good for you, too. Way to battle the good fight, man. Time to get technical. Literally can't read it all. One thirty-five. 
138. There's another one over the top. Man, I hope it hope it keeps going going well for you. Keep keep battling. Hey, one thing that they can't fix is stupid. That's what I got. Calvin Ehrman, here we go. I don't think we have any Swedes in the lineup this year. I know Birdmark isn't here. Um, Emil would be the only guy for Polaris. Comes from Salmonar, British Columbia. Dude, this is crazy. Calvin races every race, and he's from Salmon Arm, BC, which is a trek. All right, we're going to start peeing trap. So, track. So, about 45 to 48 seconds is when these guys are crossing the first catwalk. I think Keith was around 47. And, uh,. That first catwalk is crazy because there's been years when Keith has guys beat by like four or five seconds to the first catwalk. And that just gives him so much more time up top. Like I've seen Blaine almost catch Keith at the top, but just because Keith was so fast at the bottom, it just makes it so hard to, you know, to make up that time. And Keith is just, you know, smooth. And then he's also fast as shit at the top. So, like, for example, Keith is already over. Come on, Calvin. For those that are just tuning in, we're watching Nine Mod at Jackson Hole World Championship Hill Climb right now. I love to be there, but I'm, um, I've been traveling a lot, so I decided I was going to stay home this year and uh, throw this thing up. Watch from the, Watch from my house with you guys. All right. All right, who do we got? I don't know some of these guys. Hey, Nelliot, here we go. Hey, Nelliot. Can't read again. The one and only Keith Curtis up the top. We'll go up there here in just a second. There we go with Nate and Keith Curtis from the top. All right, let's see what Keith has All to right, say. All right, up here at the top, Keith, uh, first running up and over today. It looked pretty smooth. Uh, tell us about the course and just what's going through your head today. Yeah, it was kind of uh, Saturday ends up being like a long time just waiting, anticipation, waiting for nine mod and open mod to roll. Um, the course was starting to get chewed up. A lot of the pro masters were kind of getting stuck, so we just uh, got gnarlier as the time went on. So the course was uh, super icy down low, and then as you got past the first catwalk, snow started softening up, uh, more trenches, head walls, and uh, just kind of got in my groove and uh, made my way up to the top. Yeah, no trouble for you. It looked really good from the top from what we could see, but one more oh, today, hit a gate. and then the big days tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, yeah, more, one more today, open mod. Uh, the factory nine mod is so much fun. It was fun unleashing on the top part of Snow King here. It feels amazing to be in Jackson. It's always such a fun hill. The vibes are always epic here in Jackson. Oh, and no. It's so fun having the fans and the support and family. And oh, hill help. Just here we go. Good times. Heck, yeah. Well, that mod does sound very crisp and pretty gnarly from up here, and it's really cool to see what the factory's been doing to to build and, and progress and build what you guys probably want so that you can perform here. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I'm a kid in a candy store for sure. They just spoil us and build us these handcrafted mods with all sorts of trick parts and just super fun to ride, super thankful. Heck yeah. Well, congratulations on your first run. Good luck on the next one and of course tomorrow and uh, we'll see you up here again. Thank you, let's go. All right, thank you, Nate and Keith and Dane Elliott. Having a little tumble up there, as you can see. With the sled, with the skis up, not where we want them. We don't want Chat, where are we watching from? Where are you guys tuning in from? Go the All across the world? Replay, show you There's 54 happened. in here, but I know a only like one of you guys will chat. So, kind of went to turn out it that's what the launched. chat's for, bro. Chat's for chat.
Hey, and Kenny, don't forget, at the end of this class, after the commercial Chris, break, we got, um... We are going to auction off. So for 22 to 23, everything went to Thompson Radian 2 platform, which is basically custom, essentially a, a huge change. Lost a lot of weight. Um, it it's uh, the equivalent of the Skidoo going from a LAR, or, uh, Gen 4 to Gen 5. So it's like full chassis update. So we made a lot of big changes the there. Thompson and then um, also did... Uh, Really nice setup Did, uh, right here. 15 wide if track. It used to be a 16 it, wide with flex edge that. and turbo, this obviously. Right um, yeah, just a lot of updates, but you. it was a it, it's the biggest update since um, you know in the last two well, years right. we haven't we'll had a bunch ready. for 2020, uh, 2023 and 24 and 25. They're all pretty similar snowmobiles. bills. Just some minor updates, and then, um, you know, it's about an every five-year thing, so. All right, there we are. We got... got some, uh, championship titles but under his belt as well. They do some... They've actually got some hill climbs out there, out in their neck of the woods. So good to see Jordan out west, putting the power to the ground here at the world championship snowmobile hill climb hamilton montana Florida norway Florida. sweden Riding i players. love sweden one of my favorite spots couple from sweden spokane yeah guys uh i'll be live tomorrow as well for finals it's always fun jackson if you're gonna go in person today is the best day to go be uh sunday is the second gun. best Get Obviously, they race the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Holy heck, you want to talk about bringing you right up close and personal. Yeah, I'll bet, but uh, we've got a pretty good relationship with the police department right now, and I don't think they'd take too kindly to that. Nobody's arrested Charlie yet, and he's watching them go. <laughs> well, he's Charlie. This place, this this whole event is run like a rodeo, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Like the announcers, you know those guys announce rodeo all year long. I I wish, so the difference between the standard broadcast, which is on Flow TV for all the other races, and you have to pay for it, which is a bummer. I wish they would just go to like YouTube and just get sponsors, the big OEMs to like cover it. Um, but they have they have a better system for like, you know, who's racing, where they're racing. Oh. Like if we don't if we don't catch who's racing right now, then wow, you know I'm gonna bring up the running order on my other yeah, monitor here for you guys right so I can kind of look more tell like you about everything. There, like he's riding a unicycle. Goodness. Oh, we're missing it. Oh, that's got to be exhausting. After that save, all he's like, come help me, get, <laughs> come grab this snowmobile. Says, come on in, boys. This uh, this thing's heavy. So going to be a high mark for Jordan Stank as we go to the starting line. Race number 803C, Colton Olstad, Canadian race. Colton Olstad, this is one of my dude. boys. He's part of the Carl Kuster clan. All right, after. Tell him he needs to buy this gun. We got some, uh. We got some hitters coming up after this, guys. Here we go. Well, it'd be so up right next, Colton Olstad, then Cole Thomas, who, Cole Thomas, who will put put down some heat. 
uh, Colby Crapo, Andy Thomas, Sam Peterson, we both, you know, Mason Routledge. Make a living the and then there's a whole nother you know heat of nine mod. On, <laughs> which that's it's where Jay's true. racing, is true. Turcotte, Pulsifer, my boy, the Tapia, uh, Russ Tapiao. Who else is in here? Riley Suhan from BC, backcountry guy trying his hand at Jackson. We love to see that. All right. I think Jordan's on the catwalk there. <laughs> That's got to be a little disconcerting knowing Glenn's watching that thing that way. Anyway, going to the starting line, race number 803C, Colton Olstad, Canadian racer 24, riding Skidoo, brought to you by Skidoo, Carl Kuster Mountain Park, XPS, Box, High March, Snow Pulse, Makita, 2-7 Designs, Rustic Inn, Jet Blue, AB Suppressor, Mom, Dad, Brother Connor, and the CKMP race team. Alright, we should Cam's back, Cam's back. Colton, here we go. Montana Sledder with the 99 cent donation. We're making money on this thing. <laughs> uh. Ooh, you guys hear that? That did not sound good. Nice move right there, jumping. There's a nice line though. He got above that big hole. Oh, he's wide. He's wide. Oh, dude. Oh, oh whipping around, heading down. There's one gate. Following the same track, parts are coming off. Oh, that's where the avalanche happens. Probably There's a side panel. Too loud around here. I think it makes some people nervous. But he'll help moving in, making the save. Unfortunately, going to be a high mark for Colton Olstad. Going to the climb instant replay. Go revisit where it all fell apart. I thought he was actually going to save it until about that, yeah, that point. Right there. Looked like he had a pretty good handle on it, but no, just slid right off of there. 850. Well, all, like right, all right, Chris. Down, 850 turbo versus non-850. The, here's the, the crux about turbos. The turbo will get you out of situations and the tipping easier, the but it will also get you in is, trouble, uh, if that makes sense. If you want to be... If you want to get really, really good at riding, it like spend a couple seasons on an NA non-turbo, and then continue to be able to ride that and just wring its neck all day long, really aggressively, and then hop on the turbo. The the eight, the non-turbos they're easier to ride. You can ride them way harder, um, but they just don't necessarily on the really deep days. They obviously don't get the job done the same. And then on there, they also just are a lot harder on the body um throughout the day they don't do the fun fun stuff either as, as well so unless you ride like a 46 on a spring day or like a chaos or you know like the re um you know there's certain sleds that are kind of designed well, for we for that so colton out of the course it's tricky because everybody wants their sled to not get stuck ever but they also don't want to have to 
do, you, buy players, players you know, they want to be able to do wheelies and flips and all sorts of stuff. And it's a really fine balance because a lot of that goes beyond the power plant and it goes with the way that the track works with the snow. So, all right, we're going to lock in for this one. We got Cole Thomas up next on up next on deck. His dad and Dina, mom and Brian, Andy Tanner. So Andy's his brother. Sisters. Who's a absolute dog on the hill climb of course and cole has uh he's made he's making his mark very quickly on the on the course he he showed up before here at jackson so 22 years old 22 22 riding polaris star valley racer getting ready to go wants to get his name up there next to his cousin justin thomas all right here we go cole already top of the hill this is going to be fun here All right, let's we're gonna catch. Let's see what he gets at first catwalk. We're looking for, uh, like forty five seconds, forty seven seconds around first catwalk, and then, then he's, we know he's moving. Boom, 44. All right, kids, ripping. Good angle. All right, we got April Sladen. You have won Ooh. a three pack. Of oh, man, Spires. that killed him right there. He's going to get going, though. Bit of trouble right there, but... Pulling it back together. Like I say, don't ever count these Thomases out. This one in particular. So April Slade and you have won. I get around 26 is good for, for the main line. Players get on over there, get them picked up. If you want to get some, this is This is where it starts to get pretty hairy. Go home tomorrow. So if you've been putting it off, getting some of the Rednecks best fire starters, get over there, get it done right away. Not going to want to miss out. And I think we're clean. 140, nice. Amazing one four zero one four for Cole Thomas. Well done. Way to battle. He's got to be. That's the thing out. is, for these nine mod runs at Jackson, it's so 99. gnarly at the top that these guys can. They just need to get over the top, and that will a lot of times get them in to finals on Sunday. All right, Colby Crapo. You guys ever been to Five Guys Burgers and Fries? Sometimes you look on the wall to see where the uh, where the potatoes came from. A lot of times that's Crapo Farms. Just a heads up to you. Potato farmer right here, getting it. This is the nicest dude in the world, too. He's such a good guy. Come on, Colby. Snowcross podiums. Colby Crapo never does put that he used to be a commentator on his resume for some reason. Now, Colby's on players, but he doesn't quite have the factory support that, uh, like, Keith and Andy and those guys have, so. I didn't see where he came across that first catwalk, but he's looking pretty good. Second catwalk, he's at a minute. All right, he's looking good. Oh shit! Oh, got a little out of shape there. He'll help ready, but he ain't. Okay, now as long as that. nobody touches his sled and he doesn't pull his tether. Right, no, no. Oh, he called it right there. Was that Didn't tether? like it. I think, yeah, sure enough. Pulled the tether right there. He'll help gonna move in. Wanted to save it. Couldn't find a way. So that is going to be a high mark for Kobe Crapo. Montana Slider with a $2 donation. Like I said, big money maker today for me. I'm up to almost $3. Thanks, bruv. How you doing out there? You 
Nope. Sorry about that. All right. Gonna go back to the starting line with our next racer, which takes us back to Star Valley. Andy Thomas, Star Valley, Wyoming. Riding Players brought to you by... All right, here we go, Andy. Trailers, Wasatch Trailer Sales, Klein, Boondockers, Ollinger Racing Products, River Realty, Renewed Mines, SLP, Players Extreme Lubricants. Now you can, cycle and if any, sales, you know, people can correct me here. Holy effects. shit, we got three more bucks Real from Montana Slutter. We're almost up to five. Fuels. My math is correct. Mom and or six. We're over Ryan five bucks. And all of the <laughs> sisters. Thanks, my guy. Lone in support. Again, he's a six-time Hill Climb World Champion. So, in the, as far as I understand, Keith and Andy are the two top guys for Polaris. That's where they get the, they have the latest and greatest from Polaris. And then, like, next year, uh, they will, they, their current race sled will go to, like, Sam and Cole and kind of down the, the pipeline. So. It's not weird. It's fascinating how all these boys are able to do what they are able to do. Sam Peterson, Craig Gates, Mason Rutledge. If you guys are in here watching, you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go below, hit the subscribe button. Also, this video, this live stream, we have four likes. Okay, let's get that up a little bit. And if you guys like the, if you like this stream, then more people are gonna see it. It's gonna come up in their feed. Maybe they're, you know, having a beer. They're like, let's watch the hill climbs. Well, this is the best place to watch hill climbs, right? Up next on deck, Andy Thomas. This kid's fast. Do I want to ride with him in the backcountry anymore? Not really, because he's an absolute dog. And he likes to go in the shittiest trees. He's like, let's go find the steepest, worst, thickest trees we can possibly find and just go destroy our shit in there all day. And I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go do wheelies in the meadow. All right, we're looking for that first catwalk time out of Andy here. My dad's running the camera. 45, all right, he's on pace. Cole was a little faster in the bottom, but just by about a second. Straight choochin'. Setting up for the turn. Heading towards the top. He's still looking yeah, good. Okay, so right about here is where Cole had a had a so bump. So tough. That's a beautiful run. 129. That's gonna get him in for sure. Andy Thomas. Daniel looks Getting like to to I know Keith's off the front right now Sam by a, a good margin. Um, Blaine was a 138. Keith was about a 124, I think. So then Andy's 127. Uh, Justin Thomas, he's a, he was 127-ish, uh, if I remember right. Sucks they don't have live updates. So. Here comes Sammy. Sam will put a heater down. This kid's stupid fast. Stupid good on a motorcycle, too. SLP, Carl Cycle Gates, ZRP, and Frontline Ag Solutions. Family support from mom and dad, sister Darby, uncle Doug, Wayne. Uh, we're, we're in nine mod, uh, the first qualifying class. On the hill right here. Right so there's still a whole nother class of nine mod that's going to go live here in a little bit. That's where like Jay, Turcotte, some of the other guys are, are in that one. This one's definitely more stacked for qualifying, which I'm pretty sure is just a random, random pull of all of the guys, all the entrants. Holy shit, he's moving. All right, Andy got hung up right there. Sam's smoother. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. 
Looking good. Oh. Ooh. Push 129, 32. 129, that should get him in for sure. 129, 32 for Sam Peterson. Gonna go now with racer number 321, Craig Gates. I mean, I think they take seven out of this first this first heat and for tomorrow for finals. And this thing, I'm pretty sure they take seven and seven. And this first one had Keith Curtis, Sam Peterson, Andy Thomas, Blaine Matthews, Colby Crapo, Justin Thomas, Cole Thomas. Like this had a uh, this one stacked. Craig Gates brought to you by Base Camp Power Sports Polaris Ice Age Performance Team. There's definitely racing Gates belts. I mean, this is like any cool. any racing. Wife, um, sons, Brandon, there's the top Andy guys, Braxton. and then there's you know these other guys that are out there battling. But the top guys just have more support. You know, they take it, they train all the time. You know, they they just have an upper hand for sure. It's it's if you guys watch Supercross or Motocross, it's it's like being a privateer versus a factory guy, and uh, yeah, Polaris they run their they run their shit like they're Red Bull KTM man. They have a they have a pretty serious uh, serious investment into the hill climb space. Obviously, they have Keith and and then uh, you know BRP. We've got Jay and Blaine. Those are my boys. I love those guys. Um, so they're they're battling. What's crazy though is we'll see Brett Turcott here in a little bit, and uh, Turcott just has such a pedigree on a solo bill that he can, he'll probably qualify for sure in multiple classes and then probably put it over the top tomorrow. Like he's really, really good. And then we do still have today open mod, which will be two heats for open mod as well. And uh, it's going to run right after this. Yeah. First heat seven qualifiers. So there's, there's two heats of open mod as well. And that will round out the day. So we're going to be here for a while. So buckle up. Tell your friends, join in, See how far that drop get it on the there. chat, make going. friends in the chat. Call it right there, high mark for Craig Gates. Going to go up to the top of the hill now with Nate. 29 likes, guys. Andy Thomas got to be having a big We're up to 29 right likes now. on the video, thanks. Yeah, we got Andy up here over the and like I said, if you, aren't, if you aren't subscribed like to the channel, make sure you check it out. So one thing I want to ask you is, what is the difference between Jackson and a normal race? Uh, look at all these people. <laughs> it's pretty fun racing in front of everybody. You can hear them cheering. I can hear you guys cheering. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is really uh, this is a Super Bowl for these guys. It's a f so know, like fun. Such a fun so. weekend. It's just jacked. and it should be bucket list for any snowmobiler to it's go watch this event. And if you go, you have to get on the hill. Got to take the, the gondola you up, gives you and you can walk down on course and watch and uh, see yeah, all the hill help and. Like, there's little all day, because there's a lot of breaks, too, right? It's not that As they set gates and fix things. So, like, he'll help is bantering with the, the audience. A lot of drinking going on, if I'm being honest. You know? <laughs> and it's a, it's a really fun time. this is a stat class. It's pretty cool to see all you guys battling out, just even through qualifying. And then tomorrow, it just kind of ups the ante, and everybody gets a little more aggressive. Yeah, for sure. And everybody's on their game right now. We've all been working so hard. It's been... Really fun season. Uh, had some good races so far. Looks like the hill is going to turn out good for tomorrow, so we'll keep rallying. All right, Andy Thomas, uh, good job. Good luck uh, with the rest of today and tomorrow, buddy. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, thank you, too. That is a whole lot of fun. And yes, it's a whole different vibe here at the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. Uh, I'm guessing that's the reason you're all here, and we are super glad that you are. Make sure... You understand the full reason behind this is helping out the community, not only just locally, but it, it goes far beyond. Helping out with the Shriners, so make sure you get those snowmobile tickets. You could be going home with a brand new snowmobile, but either way, you're helping with a wonderful cause. 
So we're just waiting to get the all clear. And I think that might have been it. Race number 522 going to wrap up the class. Mason Rutledge, Rigby. All right, last racer of this Skidoo. heat. Then we got Brought a bunch more. Nine mod. Mason Rutledge, this guy's fast. He rides nice, too. You know, there's some guys that are fast that they really don't do it for me in the style department. Mason is he's a very fluid rider. Like, I, like this is a hot take, okay? Keith is not, in, like, when I watch him ride, he has his fluid moments. But he's like, he doesn't, he's just like very fast and calculated. He's not, he's not like a, a super styly rider. He's going to kill me for saying that. There's just, you know, there's just different styles that you ride it, so. It's like watching if you guys are Supercross fans. It's like it's like watching Tomac versus uh, like Jason Anderson, and obviously Tomac has way more championships. Or like Villapoto back in the day. All right, over the first catwalk, Rutledge. He's on pace to to be competitive here. So the bottom of the course is pretty competitive this year. He needs to be He needs to beat Blaine. I think Blaine's close to on the bubble. Wow. See? Mason's a stud, dude. That's second fastest right, time, I think. We are going to take a quick commercial break and come back and auction off a rifle right after this. Let's see here. Uh, what well, my little brother is trying to say. Nine mod second heat. Toby Shepard, quick. Dylan Boyce, quick. He's coming up from semi pro. Jay Menaberry, the people's champ, in my opinion. Riley Suhan, coming from BC. An absolute legend. If you watch the 509 films, he is a backcountry phenom. Uh, we're going to see how he handles the old race. He's quick. He's just naturally a fast rider. So he should he should be competitive. Hey everybody, this Cameron is Congi, not sure about him. Turn this down for you guys. Um, Will Burgess, Taylor Lindy, he'll go, he can put a heater down. Turcotte, he should get in. Obviously, he's Turcotte. Um, Garth Kaufman, Garth will show up for sure. He's got a lot of, he's an old snowcross racer. Tyler Coles, Kyle Pulsifer. Yo, I like this because I like this for Kyle because they take seven out of here. So I think Kyle's got a good, good shot of making it to, to Sunday here. Zach Matheson's quick, but I mean, if you go look at the, if you go look at this nine mod first heat. Kyle Tapio, Justin Thomas. So Justin Thomas, Blaine Matthews, Keith Curtis. Cole Thomas, Andy Thomas, Sam Peterson, Mason Rutledge. Like literally no room for error in that. I mean, those guys are all top 10 riders in that first heat. So this is this is a great pull for for second heat qualifiers for Jay and you know even Riley who doesn't ha never been to Jackson but has you know 
uh, Turcotte, Kyle Pulsifer, our boy. So, yeah, that's a, that's a great pull. And then we're going to go into open mod after this. Two qualifiers here, too. Let's see. Jay, Mason, Cole, Kyle, Keith, Sam. Okay, so that's a pretty that's a pretty stacked one. It, open mod's a little bit more balanced, but and these guys are just gonna battle for they're just trying to qualify for tomorrow. So there's gonna be 14 of these guys in each of these uh tomorrow. So I mean, look at early in the day, man. Seven mod. Look at all the DNFs over here. Sorry, let me get that out of your guys' way. Okay, as soon as they have nine mod up, I'm going to keep checking this. We'll, uh, uh, Yeah, as soon as they have this open, we'll uh, look at that and see who's who's in and who's not. Unofficial, of course. Man, this is such a funny event because you have you have a Mountain Dew ad, and then you have. A Salt River, a dealership in Wyoming ad. Like, you have a national global brand, massive, and then you have, like, the smallest company locally there. I mean, just this whole, like, rate. I mean, look at the graphics on that. The, the whole, uh, the whole Rimshaw circuit's, like, pretty small. Wish it was bigger. Chris, I just saw your question. Yeah, so if but you go for a Summit 154 to a Boondocker 3900, is that a good choice? If you don't like T-Motion. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you can get into a new chassis that is not Gen 4 or Radian, if you can get into a Shredder or you know, uh, a new summit or free ride, you're going to be better because the difference between those two snowmobiles is huge. That's what I would do. I would, I would try to get into something like that. And I would rather ride an NA new chassis versus a turbo old chassis. If that makes sense. But the whole reason that, that I like the link so much is it doesn't have T motion, doesn't have a flex edge track. The problem, if you go to Oh, we just lost our camera again. Stand by. I think we should be back. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the other webcam going. We'll probably just stick with this from here on out because the quality isn't that much better on my other camera. Danny, are you out? Once 
again. Weatherby and Thompson Long Range. Yo, shout out to the CCAM M crew up there. Are going to auction off the six I think Carl had some runs today. I don't think any of us are interested in that weather bee, so I'm going to turn that down and look at this. Uh... Pro Master qualifiers. Cooster off the top with put four seconds on the uh, on the competition. And that da that time damn near would get him in with the pros. Pro mod seven, nine mod, nine mod. Pro Master stock, Cooster at the top. Jay got in in nine stock. seven improved see if you guys look at this on the the timings these guys all race just to the first catwalk on, on friday which is like it's crazy because like you take seven improved stock west selby he beat he beat dylan hart by you know almost i mean basically two seconds well that's because west selby he's probably riding like a snowcross mod and he's a snow cross racer. So he doesn't have to go to the top in that the absolute shit. Um, so, you know, it's crazy. Like, I think Kyle got in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, he was eighth. Oh, only five go. Okay, never mind. But um, you have these really fast guys that should be up there. And, like, they, you know. They have to go just to the first catwalk, and you get like a snowcross guy who's going to put down a really fast time. So it's kind of interesting how they do it. Pro Masters improved. Carl at the top. Nine improved. Keith. Thousand stock Sam. But they also do this. Like these guys can't race every class, right? They, only, they can only race five classes. So they have to, uh, they kind of like spread them out, you know, like thousand stock. Keith doesn't race thousand stock. Sam does. Um, Jay got in there. All right, here we go. Nine mod, Toby Shepard. All right, so we're taking out of this group, guys, we're taking seven more. Here we go.
Audio, audio, Ross. Dude. ZRP SCS Raps Gates. Carl Cycle, Shepherd's Garage. Okay, 46 His seconds. Wife, Kelsey's kids, Macy, Amelia, Kurt, Owen, Tony, Simic, and Murph. Mom, Grandma, Aunt, Sisters, and their families, including all of the nieces and nephews, cheering Toby on right now. Another one keeping the legends alive with Toby Shepherd, second generation racer. Right here, but Toby's been racing a long time. All new trails. Ooh. Yeah, right there at 28, there's like a rock face that Andy got hung up on, too. Dude, still a hell of a time. Gonna start off big with 133.94 for Toby Shepard. 133. Nine four for Toby as we go with racer number two six seven Jackson Rogers Campus, Utah. Twenty twenty years old Jackson Rogers. Twenty years old young gun. One of the youngest pros there is. Skidoo, Carl Malone, Power Sports Action Race Team, Pure Adrenaline Motorsports, Moto Assassin Graphics, Larry's Concrete Pumping, Wicked Turbos, Backwoods BMP, Wicked Turbos, Mom and Dad, Fiance, Nina, Pop. Oh, Grand. Fiance. All cheers. Our boys, on right now. Our boys engaged at 20. What? That's He's crazy, man. Athlete. One of the fastest in the. I can't remember how you call it. He is the namesake. Or this is his namesake. Anyway, named after. This place, hill climbing family, everybody's in on the action. Jackson Rogers on the hill. Is he in the trees? Oh, he's on the catwalk. Well, I guess the secret's out. Y'all saw the clock stop and the DNF. They did get him on the gate right there. It wasn't the one where he had to go turn out. He can use whatever real estate he needs to do to do that as long as he doesn't drop below a gate that he's already passed. But he did have contact up there with a gate. And so that's what it is going to be right there. So high mark for Jackson Rogers. But impressive for a 20-year-old in the pros. Nine mod. Man. Had a good run going right there, recovered nicely. As we get ready to go with race number 729, Dylan Boyce out of Rigby, Idaho, 28 years old, riding Skidoo. Going to be followed by Menaberry, Riley Sean, Cameron Conger. They're all coming up. And this sounds like a really good opportunity to take a look at the players' leaderboard for Heat 1. Of Here we go. Nine mod. Of course, we got 711 Keith Curtis in the number one spot. Mason Keith Rutledge, Mason. second fastest of the day. I love watching what he's doing. Justin Thomas, Blaine Matthews, and Sam Peterson, your top five in qualifying. In nine oh, Blaine mod. was a 128. He's I've been given Blaine. Qualifying nine mod heat two right now. I'm pretty sure there's, they that take seven, though. Seeing. And Dylan Boyce getting ready to go. Race number 729 out of Rigby. See, Dylan's not on a full mod here. Like, he's got a stock gas tank. I don't even think he's on a turbo. He's just on a standard nine. It's like you can't have, you know, a lot of these guys, five snowmobiles, five race-ready snowmobiles. It's like 150 grand. Dylan Boyce brought to you by Skidoo, Pure Adrenaline, Deviant Inc., Elevated Riders, Frank May, Skidoo, Oxbow. 
supported by his wife Sadie in the sport. Looking to get up there and grab a time, wanting to come back in the final tomorrow. AJ, yeah, rowdy ones, man. Well, but dang, Andy McKay. I'll tell you this much: it's, the goal with it is, you see a lot of these like creators and people. They have like their their merchandise and stuff, and I think where they fall short is the fact that they're like very branded specifically to them. So like, I want to create a brand that used to be the Mountains Project that is now the rowdy ones that you know everybody will want to wear, regardless of like you don't even need to know that it came from me. Something that is just Make really good, cool stuff, and also like high quality and stuff. That's where it's gonna kinda come to a so we've been working on that for a while. I was hoping to get it up before the season, but then more. winter took over, and uh, yeah, I'm just waiting to kind of regroup from the winter to to finish that thing off. So. Here's helmet guy right here, guys. All day, but want to thank everybody that makes Colton Sturm right there. The World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climbs this year, 47th annual. Big thanks to Climb, the official outerwear of the Snow Devils. 47th for their annual. Jeez. Our manufacturer sponsors Coors Banquet. You got these cool collectible cans, too. Three different styles. Uh, I only know because all right people here we go driven power sports marine the elk refuge in blue moon Rock let's get some w's Powers, in the chat for jay menenberry on course next all right show this guy some love some room room people's champ right here in, jay the cowboy village resort elk country in 49er in and the antler motel cowboy construction rpm trailers by trails west thank you so much for bringing me this amazing dude that thing they have on their mods so sick quill creek excavation driven power sports and skidoo the hampton in by hilton macy we got 91 viewers in chat let's go people trying to hit 100 come on jay and running with racer number 411 jay needs a run here Brought to you by Skidoo 509 SCS Unlimited. Jay needs a run so he can go back to the trailer and have some Coors Banquets. Come on, kid. Jackson Hole 8 Mod Champ. Calling the outlaw around here. Jay Menaberry charging the hill on Skidoo. Come on, kid. As long as he puts in a decent time, he should qualify out of this class. Okay, he's a little slow over the first over the first catwalk, but if he's smooth up top, I don't think it'll matter. Come on. I like that high line. All right. As he rounds here, this like gate 27, there's that rock face that's been hanging people up. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, but no. Did he hit a gate? I just got word. There is a high mark involved with the gate. I made a note of it right here, but yep, I see it right there. Shoot, what a great run. He hit a Dave gate? Manberry. And unfortunately, I saw it, but I wasn't sure if it was enough to be a call on the gate. Unfortunately, it was. We get ready to go with Oh, Rachel my God. Sean out of British Columbia, Canada. I want to see proof. This is bullshit, man. All right, we're, we're going to lock back in for Riley Suhan here. This guy is a menace. 
be called by Taylor Carter, Wild Will Burgess, Taylor Lindy, Trent Burkett. I'm so pissed for Jay. What the f***? Riley's got absolutely like one race under his belt, maybe two on the hill climb circuit. So, but he's got, he's so naturally talented. Let's see what he's got here. Bruh. I saw a gate, touched a gate. One thirty four seventy one one three four seven one. Nice. Sean. Getting ready to go with race number seven two five Cameron Conger Granby Colorado another one of these young. I don't know the gate rules exactly. I think. He up, he's just like, I, why wouldn't I go early? He moved in. I think he was still nineteen when he moved into the pros. Come to Colorado, but you might think you can hit it with your body, but if your sled hits it, I don't remember what the rules are with the gates. It's kind of funky. Just beat it. Supplements, mom, dad, and of course his little brother. Wait, he's sponsored by Just Beat It Supplements. Money. Cameron what? Cameron, the heart of a Are champion. you kidding me? Right here, and it shows up in the times. Want to get him what a up name? And over, Just Beat It. Final in what? nine mod tomorrow. Guys, we got 96 viewers and 46 likes on the video. So let's get those likes up, bro. Please like the video. Then more people see it. You know, we get more people in chat, talking shit, having fights. You know, it's all good fun. Oh, God. That is not what you want. Oh, dang it. Yeah, it looks like he's looking for the help right there. Going to be a bummer, homework. dude. But this guy's got a lot of years of racing ahead of him. Dang sure guarantee he's going to be called world champion someday. It will happen. Getting ready to go back down to the starting line as we get ready. Wild Will Burgess. The snow's so variable up top. Like, those main lines are all, like, greased in, and there's plenty of, quote-unquote, traction. Most of it might be rock. But, wrong. um, right there. yeah. He kind of got into some soft got snow there and just up. hung up. Dug it in. I want to throw out a thanks to the Hampton Inn by Hilton, Macy's Services, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Jackson Hole Avalanche Salt River Motors Flying Saddle Resort Valleywide Cooperative Lazy J A Land and Livestock Coors Light Evans Construction a C R H Company Jedediah's Weatherby sponsoring the event obviously the rifle just got sold there the Virginian Lodge and Saloon be hanging out down there for a little Chat, how we doing what are you guys doing today <coughs> Talk to Wasatch me. While we, while we watch Surco, these guys get this bright AV scudoo off the mountain. Weber, water, and well, ample. Driven Power Sports, Polaris, Teton Rental, 
Jackson Hole Security, Bank of Jackson Hole, Jackson Lumber, Cat Rental Store, Trails West Trailers, Rebel Car Quest Auto Parts, Gun Barrel Steakhouse, West Bank Sanitation, Jackson Hole Roofing and Snow Removal, The Liquor Store, Jackson Hole Marketplace, Silver Star, Bridger Teton Avalanche Center, Mid-States Utility Trailers. We're getting ready to make a move right here with race number 541, Wild Bull Riding, Will Burgess. Will getting Burgess. Go. Brought to you by Articat, Speedworks, Clyde, Jason Nettercock, All-Star Custom Graphics, Fox Shocks, Kmart, SLP, Sinister Raps, Dan's Motorsports Outlet, Shot and Coach, Lexi and Son Loudon, Will Burgess on the hill. Ooh, little NCAA. <laughs> Kids a bit husky. <laughs> Jacob, were you talking about the last guy that raced? Yeah. No cat is winning Jackson. Unfortunately, I I mean I don't think a cat's gonna win Jackson. I mean, I think that we need to check the Polaris boys for doping, personally. I think those guys might be doing some, doing some skit. I'm doing some shit in the trailers, you know? Oh, hit a gate. Tough. No, I'm kidding. Those guys are legit. Oh, set up for that turn right there. Headed to the years tomorrow. How's, how's Colorado snowpack doing right now? Turned her sideways. But oh boy, here comes a hill help. Will Burgess, he's a <laughs> They're all on gear. <laughs> yeah. guy. Dude. Not the tallest. Not the heaviest. I think Keith Curtis might be an alien. And then he Will then he called the uh, sled. Gonna be a high mark for Will Then he Burgess. called uh on his alien friends and they sent Sam Peterson down. Those are a couple aliens right there. Those guys are crazy. Took and and why I say that is because in the summer when we get on when we get on uh seven, seven. motorcycles, they're also like pro they level hard ready. enduro moto guys. Crazy. I love those guys though. They're so nice. Great dudes. Insane soul builders. Good for them, man. Good for them. I want to give a thanks to Teton County Weed and Pest District, Flat Creek Saddle Shop, High Country Linen, seeing our We are we're over 100 viewers, ladies and, and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. Cat of Rock Springs Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. If you're enjoying, make sure you like the like the video. Got I gotta figure out what else we can do, lunch and uh, like this. Like, unfortunately, Trend I don't really think lightly. I can stream every race Teton because there's all the other ones are behind a paywall. So Teton Data Systems, I can do videos on those races, but factory and last but dang sure not least Snow King Mountain Resort letting us come and play in their front yard here. We're gonna get the stream a little better for tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, man, Keith. I mean, if if you take Keith's setup support the dude is determined yeah, all clear. Um, Let's go with race three, he has seven, no seven, fun if you know what i mean Montana, he's a business right he's business he's out there to win races highly competitive he's tall and uh he's just spent so much time on a race course it's insane cyclone sales speedworks riverhouse barbecue ice age performance base taylor lindy he's got he's got the ken block graphics going he's moving Yeah, dude, the back-to-back -back vintage titles, I was bummed. I was going to make a video on, I was going to re-watch them for my YouTube channel, and the, you can't re-watch. They don't, um, they don't put the, the replays on their channel for some reason. They just stream them, and then just, they go away. 
they need to upload those every day. If, you, if they're looking for a consultant, call me. I also think we need a color commentator on these things. Because, like, we don't know what's going on right now. I mean, I kind of do. I mean, I'm doing my best over here. I haven't been watching all weekend, so uh, tomorrow we're going to have some more beta on, on what's going on, who's looking fast. So, yeah, Keith rode uh, Silver Mountain last year. I think he finished, like, top 10 in pro class. But that race is getting more and more and more uh, um, aggressive, so. Is it going to rain again for Supercross? I haven't even looked. Who's our Supercross picks? What do you guys think? There you go. 130 35 for 130 T. Lindy. For T. Lindy. Zero. That'll do it for him. Five. I think that's the fastest in the class right now. Man, I cannot like believe. One, three. JD. J got a high mark on that. Go now with racer number 16, C. He's pulling double and triple duty. Ran in the oh, here we go. Today. Brett Turcott, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be going upside down with Octane Addictions tonight. Here we go. Brett Turcott getting ready. Not getting ready. He's going. Moving and a shaking brought to you. By players. Mark Cooper is the final man. Sheriff Hart back with BMP Outlaw Motorsports. Stoke Mountain Adventures Rock. Ibex. Push Industries. Arctic Effects, Octane Addiction, Specialty Motorsports, Limitless Manufacturing, Zero Composites, and his wife Nikki, the kids Hudson, as it's Turkey Tom, Hannah, and the mechanics, Dad Rocky and Pat. Brett Turcott on the hill doing all the snowmobile related events going on this weekend. All right, Brett's on pace here. <clears throat> Does he get, if he gets over clean, he should be in for tomorrow. And if you guys are just joining, this is uh, nine mod heat two. So they're taking seven out of this heat. The first heat was absolutely stacked. Oh, yeah. And then tomorrow is finals. I don't know if there's but this is definitely the, the most entertaining day because we get a lot of mod runs to the top. Out, watch close. Right here, gate 27. Right over there's a rock face right there that have gotten some guys, but he looks clean. It must be getting better. Oh, yay! Hell yeah! Oh, I'll take that as fancy right there. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, <laughs> if you dare to backflip one, then yeah, you know, pretty much. Hell yeah, Brett. Nothing else matters. Brett, your god, knocking it out of the park or well, out of the ground anyway. Way to go, bread. Didn't give a shit, just went right over. through the gate at the end. Man, so into that, I completely forgot to grab his time for you. 133.99, not half bad at all. 133.99 for Brett. We go back to the bottom with race number 48, Garth Kaufman. It's about time. That was right? awesome. Garth Kaufman out of Alta, Wyoming, riding Skidoo, brought to you by Frank Mace. Skidoo, Garth Kaufman, OG, he's been in the game a long time, so. I mean, really, dude, if any of these guys put clean runs over the top in this in this second qualifier, I think they're going to qualify. As Snowbill resume as one can have, but he makes it short and sweet on his paperwork up here. Garth Kaufman on You have won a three pack. I know, dude. If Jay would have just. Best mini fire I wonder where he got hot, like hit a gate. I didn't see in his run. I mean, and I don't think he hit it very high up in his run, potentially, which if he would have hit it at like the last gate, he might have got. He might get in, but. Unfortunately, we just won't know. I got mine. Better not get stolen. Kaufman, or Kaufman's going to be fast on the bottom here. He's a snowcross guy. Yeah, 47, so. 
Yeah, he's looking good. I'm not there this year because I've had I would I traveled a bunch and uh, I've just enjoyed being home. So sometimes I go and do content for my sponsors, but um, there was no paid opportunity for me to go this year. So I decided to uh, try this out with you guys do a little little watch party and uh, yeah, see, see how that goes because nobody does anything like this, right? Like the. If Let's you're just an average up. watcher at we home, you're just watching, you see Garth Kaufman, you're like, like, I don't know who this guy is. Well, he's a snowcross oh, legend. Yeah. I mean, he's been in the game a long, long time. And then, you know, so you don't know who's who and like who has the chance to win. Let's listen to Turcotte here. Is anybody going to jump the catwalk? I guess so. Yeah, I thought we were going to the top. I got shorthanded yesterday when I burned my sled down there at the last gate. But uh, yeah, you know, it feels really good getting up over the top. I got to give a big shout out to Polaris, everybody down the pits. My dad, huge shout out to my uh, my father-in-law, Pat. He's watching. Uh, my whole family back home. All my sponsors, Monster Energy, Olin's, 509, Cheetah, Backwoods. They're making it all happen. I'm just here having fun, man. And uh, by the looks of it, it looks you like you know what's crazy about go again tomorrow. So about Turcotte is figured, uh, tonight he's to gonna go to the fairgrounds or the there, rodeo grounds the and. They're gonna do yeah, like a freestyle say, show, know, and he's gonna Brett like literally put down an X Games gold medal run. It amazes me watching him. Like over the it's, years, and then he's the gonna style, go race tomorrow. Also, it's crazy. And he's at the top of his game everywhere, and it's awesome to see here at Jackson mixing up with these guys. Yeah, thank you again, and uh, thanks to the Snow Devils, Rimshaw, everybody that uh, gives us this platform to perform. And uh, just stoked to be here, man. I never thought, uh, as a little kid coming here to watch, that I could stand at the top and have an interview with Nate. All right, thanks, Brett. Good job and good luck, buddy. All right, well done. Getting Whoa. things gathered up. What is that audio? Down there. All right, see, dude, that's why I'm here. They had an audio bug on there, and I right. muted you guys. You don't have to listen to that shit. Up next, race number 844, Lucas Youngberg down there on the starting line. We got the all clear Oregon racer. Oregon boy. <laughs> Comes from Escocada, Oregon, 28 years old, riding Polaris. I know a Luke. He's brought to you by Mount Hood Polaris Fly Racing, Deviant Inc., Speedworks, Youngberg Pump and Well Drilling, Backwoods BMP, Ordovog. Caliber Products, Carl Cyclone Sales, Oxbow Gear, Driller Depot, and his family, Bree and Dad. Wow, we might we might get Luke on over the top here if he he puts a clean one and he might qualify, which is awesome. Because for a guy like Luke, if he gets in that first qualifying heat in nine mod, he's you know I, it's going to be so incredibly hard for him to get into to Sunday which is just for a lot of these guys is an absolute win in itself Chad so we get some get a cocktail going for the open mod that sounds nice I don't know why not Come on, Luke. Oh. Well, shoot, looks like Lucas is stuck up there, but somebody else is going to be stuck walking if they don't move the red Toyota Tundra. Can hey, red Toyota Tundra. One, four, move. Five, three, eight, I believe is the plate. But if you drive a red Toyota Tundra and you park it in a private drive, park private parking, 
is let me tell you guys let me tell you a little story about jackson they the parking there is tough yeah let's get a crown royal sponsorship chad i'm down but the parking at jackson is tough i've been i've parked there before in the wrong spot and like my sled my sled on my sled deck was hanging out into somebody's driveway just barely they could still totally get out totally fine and I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't listening to the loudspeaker. They were calling me by name. They knew it was my truck and, and sleds. They're like, uh, Ross Robinson, please get your your shit out of the... Please move your shitty truck. Thank you. <clears throat> also, my dream for this event, guys, is that we do... We have this exact setup going, and I'm at the top of Jackson with another one of my buddies. This is David McKinney and I's dream, um, sponsored by 509 and links and all the all the good people, all my sponsors. We have a big wooden table up there, headsets on. We're watching the broadcast, we're commentating, and then we also get live rider interviews as well. Thoughts? I mean, that's, that's how we take this thing to the next level, right? And they're gonna relocate it for you. We might need the Crown Royal sponsorship for that. Look at all those people in the infield. I bet some of them are drunk. Just saying. I mean, like my whole thought with the whole, with Rimshaw, the hill climb circuit, all of it is it's really, really gnarly. These guys are insane athletes, and they deserve for all their hard work as much promotion and uh, love that they can get. And we need to champion these guys in the snowmobile industry to grow the industry. If you get, if you, let's say you could put Red Bull money, like a natural selection in the snowboard world, or you know you could put big money behind these events and get them properly televised even if they're just streamed online but if you you need to be able to stream them free to youtube so everybody can see you need to have color commentators so you understand who's who who's who's going on and doing what and uh because that's the tough part is we don't we don't know what's going on and um, this is the only one that's free and also all the other races they're not good spectator events so if they just don't offer good spectating so forget the spectating for for people and just make it an ab a media race and i think you could do some you know we could really like show people how gnarly this is get somebody up there with a speed gun because what you, what's crazy is a couple of years ago those guys are doing 70 80 miles an hour in the bottom of the course so for you to understand that, it would be great. Man, Thanks for the support, Daniel. Just yes, 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 yes. On, the job done, it's glad we got it. We, you know, we get this and then I can do this. I mean, I'm happy with that for sure. But if you know me, I always got ideas. And I usually have ideas that are bigger than my britches and bigger than my checkbook. Oh, oh right over. Yikes. Thing was just making so much noise up there. Is this one? Oh, it stopped. Get down here. Sounded like he's still going, but uh, gonna catch his breath. I got, I got a pretty good feeling. He catch his breath, bro. Got the wind rib ripped rib out of him right there. On that thing, they got a lot of protective gear underneath all that stuff, and that is why the chest protector at work <laughs> right there. That's why. They oh, you heard about the media the guy race? But uh, doesn't well stop from knocking the wind out of you for sure. When problem with me going to Jackson and racing right is I'm going to lose about 10 grand. Last one right there. Just took him out of the game. By the time you put all that work into like sleds, that, potentially wreck a snowmobile. Get him gathered up. We're going to head back to the starting line with another Articat Cameron Lindsay on deck. Be followed by Jacob Ackland, Zach Masson.
I haven't seen a cat go over the top. Kin Riley Kincaid might have went over the top earlier today. I don't know if he's in this, though. Let's see if he's racing. Thursday. Six mod. Russ Tapio. Earman. Oh, yeah. Earman went over a nine mod. No update yet on that timing. Dude, the Tapiao boys are psychos. They literally, the the Tapiaos don't even exist in the snowmobile world until hill climb racing goes, and then they're, they, I mean, they'll steal a king title from you. They'll win some shit for sure still. It's crazy. Yo, love that. Greetings from Sweden. Cameron Lindsay. All right, here we go. We got a cat on board. Cameron Lindsay. Always stays in it. Sometimes when he shouldn't makes for Chad, we cannot get a replay. Or a really amazing yard. Scene. They don't have that kind of tech. Well, and that's the bummer part too for the All cat right, guys is like the they don't have, don't have any. Now's the time to do it if you're up here on the I mean, you have to take a catalyst and put a nine a mod in it. They can't. I guess technically right they here. they are allowed right in mod to race uh, in the the like a prototype. Just wave him over. He'd be more than happy to come and give you a ticket and take your money. He's looking pretty good here. Yeah, that was a nice run. 136.41 for Cameron Lindsay. 136.41. Well done, young man. Racer number 428, Jacob Acklin, Yakima, Washington. 26 years old, riding Skidoo. <laughs> And Daniel, speaking of the Tappy Out Boys, I I was in Silver Kings racing, and I'm down in this hole, like in the worst possible spot on my motorcycle racing, and I come up on this dude, and it's Russ Tappy Out. I'm like, are you kidding me?
will stay in it. I thought he was going to get it up there. He is. Ooh. A little ways yet to go. He's still in it there. You know, I have no idea what the right thing to do is. Well, that didn't. That worked pretty good right there. Kind of slowed down. For he just needs to get over. Lose his backhand, have it slide out from underneath him and dug in and squoze the trigger. Oh, yeah. Ooh, There's Colton. Well, that oh, is, yeah. <laughs> dude. Wow. Yeah. Uh, is that hill climbing or professional wrestling? I'm not sure. That was a hell of a run. Oh, That's what's awesome there. about it, too, is these guys, like a run like that, the crowd just loves that shit, dude. They're like, they love it more than, they love two things, a fast run over the top, and they love when almost every hill help guy gets run over. I cannot condone this ad on my stream. Where's the links at? Here's Bergmark. Yeah. Let me just front flip that thing real quick. Down there on the starting line, getting ready to go with Richard number 707. Matt can do out of Casper. Wyoming switching things up a little bit as he charges the hill. Right now, I'm a Lynx guy, bro. Lynx is gonna watch my live stream and be like, What the heck? Zach Masson on the hill. Still over 100 viewers in here. Love to see it, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't liked the video yet or liked the live stream, drop a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing?
Zach Masson getting it done with 134, 34, 134, 34. For Zach Masson going with racer number 818, Tyler Coles out of Blackfoot, Idaho, 28 years old, riding Polaris. Stream's gonna be better tomorrow, guys. Also, I got some uh, settings I need to work on, so. Dude, what do we got in the. Dude, I mean, I think. I think Polaris is a great snowmobile. They just don't pay my bills. Lynx helps me do what I want to do. I also like the Lynx for what it offers. It's a lot more of a, it's a lot more durable. Uh, it's better fit and finish. Yeah, it's heavier. For my riding style, what I think is like really enjoyable and fun, man. I like uh, I like the Lynx. I like the brand. I like the people. So it's been a great uh, great partnership. Right, turn into so a pretty exciting run to watch. Right and I get here. to be involved in stuff. Tyler so Cole. yeah. But I, I'm yeah, not going to lie and say the Polaris is a bad snowmobile as they're doing work on the hill climb right now, right? Like, that was a battle from the get-go. Tyler Coles, though, getting it done. Getting ready to go now with race number 529, Scott Long, Spirit Lake, Idaho, 54 years old. Yeah, Mike, dude, Turcotte's run was, uh, he put over a good one, and then he basically went through the timing lights, and he, like, jumped the next catwalk into the fence. It was sick. Oh. oh yeah. Noisy, noisy. Well, this says it's Kyle Pulsford, but that's an absolute lie. Oh yeah, Turcotte had a good time. He was, he was getting the crowd hyped. He was trying to get bonus points for going beyond the top. Gonna see some of the top riders in the world down there, upside down, doing some backflips. Tyler just brought me up an autographed helmet with all the riders from down there. It's got Turcott, Saxon. I mean, it's got everybody, and it's the new fly helmet that's got. All the fancy stuff, it tracks if you get in a crash. Dude, these guys are so funny on the mic down there. For you. The next time <laughs> we get somebody stuck on the hill, there it is. There it is. That's the gate I was I've been talking oh, about, that 27. Kenny, I think that's it's been cute to get out. That's just a rock face right there. All right. Well, condolences to 
Scott Long had a pretty good run going there, but unfortunately going to wind up be a high mark. Let's sell a helmet. You just let me know when you're out there and ready. It doesn't take me as long as you think it does. I'm out here and I'm ready. You're out there and ready. All right. Freestylers autograph the new fly helmet. Look if at all the people up, up there, online, dude. Online, these helmets sell for I, I, I didn't go to Jackson this and year and uh, on Thursday I was like, should I just get in the truck and go? But then finding lodging and all that stuff this do? late is, is tough, so Bim I think we'll be back next year. Now half. Now one and a half, half, Bim at a one fifty dollar, Bim at a one fifty. Hit one fifty. I got one fifty now two. Now give me one, two, give me two, give me him ba da da ba da da. How about two? I got two. You got two now. Quarter, yeah, Kyle should be two, running quarter, in this quarter, class. Quarter, he might be up next. I got quarter down here. Oh, you got to be half. Go, go bim half. Two and I a half, got half. half. Bim and a two. Fifty now. Seventy-five. Seventy-five now. Three hundred on a bim and a three. Nine mod heat two. Three hundred on a three. Three hundred on a bim and a three. Three hundred on a three. Kyle Pulsifer. Three hundred on a three hundred on a bim and a three. Three hundred on a three hundred on a bim and a three. Three hundred on a three hundred on a. Get you. He might be next. I got three. Now quarter, been a three and a quarter. Now half, three and a half. Been a three. I got half. three now fifty. Seventy five. I like I how they just stream this part too. They're like, let's just show the people auctioning a helmet off. I got seventy five. <laughs> now four. You're it's so too funny. Late. You gotta be four. Oh, Bid him in a four hundred dollar bim in a four four bid four. Bid four hundred dollar bim in a four four. It's your turn, ma'am. You don't want to miss your turn. Bid him in a four hundred dollar bim in a four four bim in a four hundred dollar bim in a four. Bid him in a four hundred dollar bim in a four four bim in a four. I got four now twenty five. Four and a quarter. Now half. Bid him in a four and a half half bim in a four fifty. Was that a yes? Now seventy five. Now five hundred. Now quarter, 500 bucks. Five and a quarter and a half. Bid him in a five and a half. Half bid him in a five fifty. Five fifty. Now seventy five. Seventy five. Now six hundred dollar bid him in a six six bid six. We bid him in a six hundred dollar bid him in a six six. Your turn. Bid him in a six. Now quarter. Now quarter. Now six twenty five. Now six fifty. Now seventy five. Six fifty. Should we play now side bets on how much this helmet's going to go for? Now half. Now seventy five. Now seven seventy five. Now eight hundred. Bit him an eight and a hundred now twenty five eight and a quarter now half. Bit him an eight and a half. Eight and a half now seventy five seventy five now nine hundred dollar bit him in a nine nine. Is he gonna hit a thousand? Are we gonna hit a thousand? Nine nine bit him in a nine now quarter now quarter nine and a quarter now half. We bit him in a nine and a half half bit him in a nine fifty dollar bit him in nine fifty now seventy five now thousand dollars. Bit him in a thousand dollar bit. I got a thousand now ten twenty five now ten fifty. Bid him at a ten fifty. Bid him at a fifty dollar. Bid him at a ten fifty. We bid him at a ten hundred and fifty dollar. Bid him at a ten fifty. Fifty. Bid him at a ten fifty. And I sold that thousand twenty five to the lady in pink. If you'll meet me right over here by the gate, we'll get you taken care of. Thank you. Oh, wow. yeah, I think we figured it out. You're there he is, ladies and gentlemen, KP. One of those up here next year. Hey, Let's get some W's in the chat. Let's get the chat rolling for this kid right here, Kyle Pulsford. Come on. This guy's a psychopath, and I love him. <laughs> Beer bid. Come on, Kyle. I either want him to, I want him to take out the first gate or go to the top. All right. Zach had to get back or Come on, KP. years old on Polaris. Going to be followed by Brock Sharp, Russ Tapio going to wrap up the class as soon as there's a break in the action. Actually, might be a great time to go up top with Nate and Zach Matson. No, we don't want an interview. There we go. Right. God. Yeah, we got Zach up and over the top. First time Sorry, today. Zach, Zach, don't care. You kind of had to sit around all day and watch the weather come through and the clouds and the course change. And and here you are up and over the top, man. Yeah, it was really fun, but uh, the fog, I was really scared of that. I'm like, come on, can you blow All right, here, please? 50 seconds. The course is sweet. Is 55. Had a couple bobbles, lost some seconds, but it was fun. Yeah, that was a great run, and you got one. Come on, Kyle. Today, so he just needs to clean one over the top, on and I'll get him in. Yeah, I'll just clean it up, and hopefully I can get in. All right, well, good run, and congratulations on getting up and over the top today, which has been quite a challenge, and good luck in open mod. Thank you. I'd just like to throw a thank you out there for Skidoo, 
Uh, my fiance Chloe, all the friends and family. That all right, here's the gate, guys. 27 right around. Then the Blaine and Jay show, they helped me out a lot. Big wall right All there. Right. Thanks, Zach. And Atta good boy. Luck. And, uh, of course, you can't get here without that help. So, good job, man. Awesome. Th thank you. All right. Thank you, Nate and Zach. People are always asking me what time is the Blaine and Jay Atta show. boy. Well, it, it's never off. 138.30 for Kyle Pulsford. 138.30 for Kyle Pulsford getting ready to go. We'd love to see that. Brock Feeding it. Brock Sharp. Moxie Kyle's feeding the geese up the hill right there. <laughs> you know what's crazy is Kyle was, he was 10 seconds slower than Keith to the first catwalk. Okay? And Kyle is one of the best riders in the world. So it, it just goes to show how crazy, like, this, this stuff is. Pacific propane, shepherd's plumbers, mufflers. Mom, dad, and his sister. We got the pink pants up on course, Brock Sharp. Right here. Let's see what those pink pants can do, Brock. Dude looks like a highlighter. Just getting it. Man, I'm getting excited for open mod. I'm gonna get some food and then we're and uh, we're gonna just have open mod here in a minute. Good run from Brock. Pink pants over the top. One, three, three. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Moving on to the last one. N9 mod going into open mod after this. Racer number 322, Russ Tapio, back around Washington, brought to you by the family. All right, here comes Tapio. He's going to teleport to the top. Coming at you. Russ Tapio. He's got a 900 mod from 2000. Oh my God. He, his sled's 12 years old. He's beating his head off with handlebars. The skid that, like, he's got a. Um, uh, what were those skids called? They don't even make them anymore. They went out of business. But some of these guys are still, like, building parts for these skids because they did they used to work so good uh the easy rides like russ has an easy ride skid in his sled they worked so good for hill climb but like they couldn't sell enough to keep making them so uh yeah but he's still got one he's probably building his own parts for him ladies and gentlemen 125 viewers in the channel stick around we're finishing up nine mod and uh, then we're going to get an open mod. So we still got a lot of fast guys going over the top today. It's going to be awesome. I'm all jacked up. I'm going to get some food here in a second, but man. Oh, no. Hey, that's good for Kyle, though. That's good for Pulsifer. It just seems like there's no escaping. It's like quicksand right there. That's huge for Kyle. All right. Hey, we do a lot of fun things up here at this hill climb. But right now... I would like to get Mr. Brett Jensen. Let's see who, who we got next. In. Oh, that was it. Charlie, Charlie.
Charlie, it's the All right, guys. Uh, one, not right now. So that was the finish of hey, nine mod. Right on a we got two more heats of uh, open mod, so we're going to be here for a little bit longer, which is awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in with me instead of watching just the regular broadcast. I'm going to be live tomorrow. Also, the stream should be uh, even better, a little bit better quality. Uh, a lot of it is on their end, however. Um, so, uh, but I got some settings I'm going to adjust tonight, and then we're going to be good to go for tomorrow. I'm going to get some food uh, real quick, run up upstairs and, and grab some food, and then, uh, yeah, we'll keep this thing rolling. But there should be a little break here before uh, open mod goes. They're probably going to move some gates and get some stuff situated, and uh, we'll see the fast guys run it again. Wait, they're running them right now. Holy shit. Come on, Jay. I'm glad I didn't leave. All right, Jay needs a bounce back one right here. Here we go, kid. We got 130 people in the house right now. Let's go. Come on, Jay. He's out for vengeance after that one. He's pissed. Just hope he doesn't get too pissed. All righty. We got Jay Manaberry on the hill. Okay, right here's where Russ got stuck. He's the Jay of the Jay and Blaine or Blaine and Jay show. The people's champ, I like to call him. Style for days. Atta boy. Get this kid in there. 136.91, 136.91 for Jay Menaberry. Getting us started here in open mod. Got race number 95, Cousin Nate. Getting ready to go. Race for number 95 out of Thane, Wyoming. Riding Skidoo brought to you by Star Valley Skidoo, FXR, JR Simplot, RSI Racing, SCS Unlimited, XPS. All right, I'm going to go get some food before Kyle goes in a few, so I'll be right back. Concrete, JR Simplot, Starting Line Products, Force Turbo, Tom's Snowmobile, Dad's Bar and Steakhouse, Mom and Dad, and all of his siblings. Cousin Nate on the hill. Cousin Nate doing really good this weekend. Got into a handful of classes yesterday. Dead set on getting into this one today in open mod.
concentration a little bit when you see your skis rub on a gate like that, and I think that's what happened, Nate. Gonna wind up with a high mark right about there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they didn't call it yet. Nobody's touching the sled. I guess I better not get ahead of myself here. Nate trying to get it done up there, but he's going to throw it in. Not what he wanted to do. He's got big dreams, big goals. And, man, he is checking them off. I'm not even kidding you. He is just doing really good this season. But this is Jackson, and those kind of things can trip you up a little bit. High mark for Cousin Nate as we get ready to go with racer number 522, Mason Rutledge, Rigby, Idaho, 29, riding Skidoo, followed by Toby Shepard, Cole Thomas, Cameron Conger. All right, you wonderful people on top of the hill. All of you guys up there throwing snowballs at the gondola are going to get escorted off the mountain. So if you want to stay on the mountain with them great seats, no more snowballs at the gondola, please and thank you. And while well, we're talking about stuff like that, when we got here, this place was really clean. Your mother don't work here, so she's not going to clean up after you. So make sure and pick up your own trash and put it in the garbage. We got plenty of garbage cans out here. Let's leave this as nice as it was when we got here. Because, man, we sure want to keep coming back. All right, we got things are shining on the 900 mod heat number two up on the Polaris leaderboard. That's right, Taylor Lindy in the number one spot, Brock Sharp. In second, Toby Shepard in the number three spot, Brett Turcott and Zach Matheson. Those are your top five qualifiers. We are taking seven. And you're gonna find out who they are tomorrow as we get ready to go with race number 522, Mason Rutledge. Having a pretty darn good day. Hey, Kenny. Yes, sir. Bob Tom just came up, and he has got a great big skidoo banner. And this is autographed by the entire skidoo team, race team, plus all the big ones. Right back to the CEO, the head man. All the Skidoo guys have autographed this Skidoo banner. And the next time we get a little time with somebody in trouble on the hill, we're going to auction it off. I love it. Sounds like a All right, way back. <clears throat> Did I miss anything good? Anything epic?
Look at this. Look at this burger. I made these elk burgers last night. Oh, so good. Well, Mace hitching ride right on a struggle bus up there. Not going to get over the top on this one. Shoot. Getting ready to go with race number 22, Toby Shepard. Is this Rutledge? Oh, it's a bummer for Rutledge. He's literally at the top, huh? got Mason Rutledge gathered up as we get ready to go back to Toby Shepard once again. Jackson, Montana racer brought to you by Blair Shepard Industries. Climb Backwoods, BMP, Rover, Trailers, Easy Link, SLP, Beaverhead Motorsports, Habit Products, TKI, CNC, Indy Specialties, BP Racing Fuel, MT, Pockets Performance, Blair's Lubricants, Liquid Seat, ZRP, SCS, Rats, Gates, Carl Cycle, Shepherd's Garage, his wife Kelsey, kids, Macy, Amelia, Kurt, Owen, Tony C. Mick, Murph, Mom, Grandma, Aunt, sisters, and their families, including all the nieces and nephews. Up the hill, up the hill, Toby Shepherd making his way to the top again. And speaking of the top, we're going to go up top with Nate. And the outlaw, Jay Minaberry. We got a Jay interview. Yeah, Let's we got lock Jay in. Up and over a second time, and that run looked really good. I don't, I don't know what happened in the other run, but you came up and over. Uh, tell us about both your runs and how you're feeling today, bud. So far, so good. Um, unfortunately, there was a call in a, a nine mod run that I t uh, touched a gate, so I got a mark there. But it, both runs felt really good. Sleds working awesome. And it just feels so damn good to be at the top of Jackson Hole, two out of two. Heck yeah, it's, it's always fun coming up over this hill. And every year the snow conditions are different. Every year the, the course is a little bit different, but it's the same mountain that you have to conquer and overcome. And you've done it twice today. Is there anybody you want to thank? Yeah, I'd love to thank Skidoo, 509, um, XPS, Enzo, um, SCS, all my friends and family, my buddy Blaine, couldn't do it without him. Uh, my girlfriend, Jordy, and mom and dad, and the Snow Devils for putting this event on, and all you awesome fans. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. All right, Jay Medaberry, class act. Good job, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, just perfect timing right there. Join them up at the top racer. Uh, 135.03 for Toby Shepard. 135.03 for Toby Shepard. Getting ready to go now with race number 401. 
See if we can get him in again. Cole Thomas getting ready to go. All right, Cole, here we go. The hill rats are nuts. Are the nut jobs of selling billing? Cole Thomas brought That's true, because my boy Colton Sturm's out there and he's a nut job, so. sisters. 2022 racer of the year, six world championships, 2022 rider of the weekend. Just waiting for the okie doke to turn him loose and get ready to join him at the top. David, I'm eating an elk burger watching from the comforts of my home. Don't look away. This is gonna be a fun one. How's the snowpack up there, David? Give me, give us a, give us an on hill report. We need some, need some intel. Jeez, that thing sounds pissed off. Hey, can you guys send me a photo for tomorrow's thumbnail for my YouTube channel for the live stream? Thanks, Todd, David, all you guys. Hope you guys are killing it. Should I tell the people at home the truth about you photographers and videographers at Jackson? I'm going to tell them about, about what we do on the hill once... Uh, Oh, Once man. Cole laces this. Ready for it. Yeah. Oh my god. That's how you do it. 125, 25, 1, 2, 5, 2, 5. Jeez. Cole Thomas, Afton, Wyoming, I told you guys earlier, he is does not mess Amazing, around. Without a doubt. I love Whoops. It. Getting ready to go now with race number 725, Cameron Conger. No, so here's a here's the problem with all of us when we're doing content on Jackson. Is uh, we all want to hang out with each other because we're all friends. So we all stand in the same spot and get seven clips of the same run from the same angle. Hey, racers are putting down. get a radar gun then, guys. Come on. You guys want to do an elk burger check? How's that look for you? Pretty good. <laughs> oh, my God. You're live. All right. Live report from Jackson 2024 here on the live stream. Yeah, give us a live report. Not 
a bad it's way to go. It might cost a little bit of time, but man, if you step over there, you cross those lights. The crowd is insane too. this year. The alcohol is flowing in the crowd right now. We have had chants. We have air horns. We have megaphones. Yeah, uh, we have the go. wave. We have snowballs flying at the gondola. Uh, it's been a it's been a rowdy one here. Things are going well though. I love to hear that. We're uh. It, it, yeah, dude. I mean, we appreciate that so much. So, did you get? Did you see Turkey go over the top? Oh yeah, I was right here. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right there. Okay, I know where you're at. I'm gonna be looking for you. Yo, in the pink too, Toddy, <laughs> looking good. Nice. There he is. What happened his first run? Do you know? Dude, see, I, I'm calling bullshit on the J run. Yeah. Well, he's the people's champ. We're we're getting the chat loves J. They also love KP, who's on course. Yeah, they can hear you right now. Here, we'll we'll get a quick guest appearance here, real quick. Let me carry on up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we're live on Ross's live stream on his YouTube right now. Wow. Queuing in for a what's up? We got we got a hundred we got a hundred and thirty people in the chat right now. Not bad. KP, here comes Kyle Pulsifer. Here comes KP. Nice. All right, we'll let you guys go. Thanks, Enjoy bro. Miss you. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. KP over the top. One forty-three eighty-two for Kyle Pulsiver. One four three eight two for Kyle race number 322 Rust Tapio Battleground Washington ready to go right here on his way up Dude, that first camera angle, they need to turn they need to turn that volume down. It is very loud in my ear at least. Family support coming from his wife Gemina and his daughter Aston. Yes, Tapio. Yeah, if you put about a million trees in that hill, well, KP's winning the whole thing. Turning out. Is his snowmobile on fire? Exactly. Catch what went wrong, but he's headed right back down the hill. It's gonna go now to racer number seven eleven, Keith Curtis, out of Dillon, Montana. Brought to you by. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. KC seven eleven. Logan Coach Trailers seven KC seven eleven edition. Beaverhead Motorsports, Maverick Adventures, First Stop, Carl Cycle, Sales, Players, Engineered, Lubric, and Target, Effects, Graphics, Timber Slip, Belt, Centennial Livestock.com, Starting Line Products, Venom Products, Cold Cutter Racing Screws, Kelly Jean Snacks, Boondocker Performance, All Kids Nonprofit, Avid Products, Caliber Products, Stud Boy Traction, Oxbow Gates Belt, Kelly Smith Trucking and Excavating, CTI Knee Braces, Power Tech Diesel Performance, Patrick Custom Carbon, Ice Age Performance, RC. Here, here they go again with every sponsor in the book. For Racing, Conrad Bishop. I wonder how much money I got to give Keith for him to, to, to list me as a sponsor. Mom Maggie, Dad Fred, 
mechanic Dale and all the other family and friends that help him out and support Keith Curtis as he charges the hill. Keith is Bending is moving. His title this weekend. He's already got the fastest time of the day. All right. While we watch Keith. Oh no. Up. Oh my. Oh my God. Goodness. Oh my God. Not the kind of thing we're used to seeing. Right? Oh my God. Bruce throwing. Oh man. Well, Yo, smokes. That's a little bit of a shocker. For That's right crazy. Up top, we got Cole Thomas and Nate up at the top of the hill. Dude, that's yeah, no Thomas open mod for Keith. A smoke and time, man. That looked really good from the top. Tell us about uh, both your runs and just your day overall, bud. That is it's huge. Been a day so far, I had in nine mod. I hit a bump and threw me off and from there on I just held my breath and got all cramped up and kind of just motivated me to push harder for the next Austin are you supposed to be there where are you, where are you at bro for tomorrow yeah so you mentioned that other run where you didn't feel quite perfect how, how much of this that is a huge to get over Jackson I'd say it's huge that's like huge for everybody and think man I don't know but if you just stay positive and think you can do it then you really can so it's been good yeah tr trust your training trust the process you know what i mean you've been here before your body knows what to do you just got to make it happen yeah hey that's true we've chat been we've been saying it for this weekend. that gate 27 Hopefully it all it's uh out, so. it's yeah, eating some guys up good so congratulations on your run today good luck tomorrow buddy and anybody you want to thank down at the bottom yeah, I just want to do a huge thank you to Plex. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Cole Thomas right here is number one on the board. It's um, awesome, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys, so thank you. All right, good job, Cole. And then Jay had a pretty I good time. You outside. No, but I will. Well, did you well get there? You can go ahead and start. I'll be, I'll be there by the time you're All ready right, for me. All right, this is... This autograph Skidoo banner. It's got the entire Skidoo team. All well, the way Austin, you can watch us for a minute here. We'll, we'll try to keep some entertainment company. going. All right, we only have 139 buddy, viewers, buddy, and I know the live has like a thousand people watching bucks. live. We need some of those viewers. I don't know how we get them, but if you have buddies that are watching the actual, the actual stream, they need to be in here with us. Because this is where the boys are hanging out. You know what I mean? Because we're doing we're doing live analysis. We're, we got we have live reports from the hill from David McKinney. Shout out five oh nine. We love five oh nine. We got Jason Ribby up on next. He's getting hidden by this Skadoo banner. Story of our lives over at Lynx. <laughs> it was a joke. But we're up to 145 viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being in here. If you have not liked the stream, go ahead and give the stream a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is where we're at. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Ribby on course. He is our only hope in the Lynx camp. Is he a racer? Kind of. Is he insanely talented? Yeah. Local legend. If you guys know Ribby, you know the hashtag ride like Ribby. He hates social media, but we're out here giving him some love. All right. So far, and I think that's going to be it. Jason has an opportunity here. Jason Ribby, brought to you by 
After a massive mistake by the King of Kings, Keith Curtis himself, he is not going to make it into open mod. Which is a, the door is left open for guys like Ribby. And of course the whole CKMP race team. I'll tell you what, there's a reason Ribby's out there and not me, because he is an absolute, he's an animal. He is tough as nails. <laughs> I bet I could beast mode most of these guys. Yeah, me too, bro. That's why I don't want to race. Oh, and Jason. Give a big thank you Jason. To Robert at Hell yeah, brother. That was sick. Construction. He's the one that just bought that Make sure all those banner. fans over there see the links. Get some donated sales going. Back. Not only did he buy that for 500 bucks and donate it back, but his crew and his equipment is all here all week long setting up to make this happen. Thank you, Robert. I would have see that big ski, ski pole right there. I would have center punched that thing. It's one of the toughest things to find is equipment when you're putting on events like this. That is huge. Hey, Kenny, you just, well, head outside. I think we got a minute. All righty, I'll do it. I'm going to take a quick look at the climb instant replay and see what happened to Jason Ribby. All right, we got a replay. Right here while he was coming up. He there, was looking good. He's got the hair flowing in the wind. Gun. And right there, gave it the onion. Right he was going to do a re-entry right there. Forgot he wasn't on the, in the backcountry. He All right, was. Let's do it, Glenn. I'm All ready. Right, let's He's on the do race it. course. Quill, Quill Creek Construction bought this Skidoo banner, donated it back. We're going to sell it again. All right, on the Skidoo banner. Oh, they're I selling the banner again. 100, now 100, let's turn now them half, down. Jeez. Yeah, dude, crowd. Half of them are so drunk in the crowd, they're like, they think they can catch the sled too. All right, I got something to show you guys after this Tappy Hour run. <clears throat> Good Lord, that's so loud. SLP, Ibex, Low Track, Zollinger Racing Products, Makita, Tapio Construction. Austin, uh, Keith in 9 mod was YTD. went over in 124. Kids and then Cole, Anna, uh, Anna, Cole went over in, um, Cole Thomas was like a 125. Ten -time class winner, but Keith is, yeah, Keith, Cole, year. Justin Thomas was pretty Kyle quick. Tapio. But, uh, yeah, Keith was pretty, 
pretty decisive in 9 mod. This is a pretty quick run right here. Here's tw here's 27. That's that rock face. It's been brewing in a couple guys. I don't think Tapiaus really have a uh, have a cat support, so they don't really. And also, like to build a catalyst mod is so much work. It's a whole new chassis. Calvin Ehrman, Canadian racer, twenty-five on Articat, be followed by Aaron Sturt and Todd Tupper. No, you can put a. These guys could definitely put a nine mod into a uh, a catalyst chassis for sure. That is uh, that is okay to do. But it's like one of those things. A lot of these sleds get raced multiple years as long as they don't get wrecked. Um, so, you know, for these guys to invest in a full, and, and you know, maybe they've tested the chassis and don't feel that it's, it, it's going to give them that much more of an advantage until, you know, they have it figured out a little bit more or, you know, instead of investing a bunch of money into that chassis to make it a mod. I'm not really sure, though. Man, 27 is such a crux because right there, a lot of guys go through it with absolutely no problems. There must just be a little spot. I think there's a spot on the inside that's incredibly slick. 144, 58, 144, 5, 8. Nice. For Calvin Ehrman. While we have the, the ribbies run, do you guys remember this? 2009 open mod Barant. You guys remember this run? <laughs> Let's just bear with me here. On the old M chassis. Barant's in a side hill. Oh God, loses it. Still pinned. Into the crowd. Elevatoring. Oh my God. Still on the snowmobile. Oh my gosh. That is violent. Jeez. And it just keeps going. Good lord. Oh my God. Uh. That's such a legendary clip right there. See, if I was Ribby and I was just like, huh, if I just hold this thing pinned for like two more seconds, I can recreate the Barant viral clip from 2009. 
All right, Ashley Norsworthy, you have won a three-pack of Rednecks Best Fire Starter Mini Flare. Oh, oh boy. I'm dragging that fence all over Tarnation up there, but Aaron Sturt getting up there. That's going to probably make the highlight reel. Aaron Sturt, race number 285. Over the top with 131.88. 1, 1, 3, 1, 8, 8. For Aaron Sturt, as we go with race number 50, right now, Todd Tupper, 55 years old on Articat. All right, here's Todd. Fairview. Dude, he is 55. Racing pro. Todd is an OG. And here's the Catalyst mod that we've all been wondering about. Family support coming from Kaylin, Trace, Tessa, Alex, Whitney, and Emmy. Todd's son, Trace, went over the top when he was 18. He doesn't race anymore. But uh, Trace was a stud back in the day. He just likes to golf a lot. I love that kid, though. Nice and smooth into the corner there. You saw him didn't quite come to a stop, but is able to slow down and set up perfectly for that turn. I think he's headed for the top, folks. One forty-one sixty-two for Todd Tupper. One four one sixty-two for Todd. Going now, race number eighty-nine. Pretty Seth impressive, Wilson, Todd. Over Wyoming thirty-six, riding Polaris. Going to be followed by Dylan Hart, Tanner Meyer, Sam Peterson. Kevin Lindsay, Tavern Rupp will wrap up the heat. I don't think Keith has to worry about budget too much on his end. I think he's pretty uh, pretty well supported with whatever he needs to go win. Oh, I mean, Cole's, Cole's uh, 125 is going to be hard for these guys to beat. That's a, that's a real, that's, Second or third fastest time of the day. So brought to you by players. So Carl Malone, players climb three I think trucking. Cole's kind of front running. Sky Club, uh, Power Pro, Gladiator Materials, Moto Assassin, the heavy hitters that are products. left to go. We got Sam Peterson, Blaine Fire Protection, Carl Cycle, Blaine Matthews, Gates, Andy Thomas. Um, I think you know Family support one of those three are the most likely to do it. I saw Sam post. That's uh, what I want to see. He said he's one forty-five eighty-three. Keep an eye on the he, celebration. He's right uh, it's never not felt better, yet. so that's great oh, for him. Oh no, sir! He absolutely gets so animated when he gets over the top. Yeah. All right, going back to the flying Hawaiian now. Dylan Hart. He's been on the. He's been on the come up the last few years. Pretty much dominated semi-pro a couple years ago. He's always got the Hawaiian kit on. Kind of cool. 
I love when guys do something a little bit different, you know? You have to you have to be able to stand out and in some way. Yeah, dude, Todd at 55 running pro. He does not have to run pro class. He can go run uh, pro masters. But he uh, he wants to go battle with the big boys. He's been doing it a long time. Todd's also a pretty big part oh, of Articat's race we're program. Flying up the hill with a flying Hawaiian. But like in Cat's race program, the Tapia boys are. They have some cat support, but they're not, like, in-house, uh, what you could say. Whereas, like, uh, Riley Kincaid, he's kind of their new guy. Uh, and he's fast. Riley's super fast. All right, I think we're going to go up to the top of the hill. We got Seth Wilson up there with Nate. A little, uh, little fast finger work there by Levin. Sorry, through. This is going to be a good time for Dylan. Seth Wilson up top. Go ahead, Nate. All right, yeah, we got Seth up and over the top with an energetic run, buddy. I love the passion, the excitement as you come over the top. Yeah, it's uh, been a while, Nate, since I've been up here with an interview for you. So, man, I don't know if I've been over trying or what I've been doing, but I spent a lot of time on that chairlift today. I knew I had one chance left today to make a good weekend out of it. I felt like I had a clean run, maybe could have been a little faster, but I'm over the top and happy to see you guys up here. Heck yeah, man, that is awesome. And we got the crowd behind us going crazy. They, they were happy to see you come up over the top. It's always good to see you up here, buddy. Hey, thanks, Nate. Yeah, them guys right here behind me and Nate's boy. I mean, I tell you, I rode the chairlift. I, I wore my name in the seat up there. Uh, but these guys right here, they rode with me, Nate's boy. I mean, it was awesome. So, yeah, a lot of time preparation going into this. If you don't mind, I'm going to thank a few guys. Uh, I got a lot of family, a lot of friends, uh, players. Um, climb. What he's talking about when he's talking about riding the chairlift is those guys will get on that gondola, and that's really the the best way for them to see the course because they can't they can't get on it any other way. So they'll be riding up and down that thing all morning, looking at lines and seeing how things are developing. Um, and then they also have spotting scopes down at the at the pits, and they're uh, they're looking at lines and watching through a spotting scope as guys go up. To, to see, you know, what, what's the fast line, what's working, and, uh, you know, obviously the, the big boys have people watching for them, so they know they know what's really going on. Sam Peterson up on next, up on next, up on deck. All right, all eyes on this guy, everybody. This is a, uh, this is one who could do it. And not only that, quite possibly. But remember, we're just qualifying today. Tomorrow is finals, so these guys just need to be in the top seven, going over the top. All right, racer number 98, Sam Peterson. Jackson, Montana, that's right, he is on a Polaris. We got some brand loyalty going on up here in the VIP section. Yep, I heard you.
I know tomorrow Trinity tomorrow we're gonna keep uh I'm gonna keep rant I'm gonna keep times on everybody. Oh. oh man, just about to cross that line. He uh, did he cross? White get across the clock still ticking. He's <laughs> so what is it gonna take to stop the clock? That uh yeah. yeah I'm gonna let somebody else give him the bad news. That's not how it works. Shoot, though. Man, had a good run going there. Didn't quite trip the lights. Yep, there it is. It says D N. Wow. Right there. Oh. Not smiling Sam Peterson right now if he got that news. Shoot. Uh, Trinity will go there. live probably. Number one eight five, Cameron Lindsay, uh, I'm gonna look at the running order tomorrow. I'll let you guys know when I'm gonna be live. Zebros Racing, Exit Shocks, Boondocker Turbo, Speed Shop Incorporated, Deviant Inc., Pilot Thomas Logistics, K Mod, Zollinger Racing Products, Cycles and Sleds, and no SS SS Auto and Cycles, Lutz Construction, Lindsay Landscaping, Pin Performance. Carbon Pursuit, Precision Articat, Scott Lindsay Construction, Dad Haley, Mom, and his girlfriend, Maya, family and friends, Cameron Lindsay, sitting there getting ready to go. Tavern Rupp is going to wrap up this heat. We have about 20 or 21 racers yet to go. 19 racers to go. 20. Actually, after Cameron, 20 more runs up the hill on Saturday. Mock day here at the 47th World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. I'll probably go not I'll probably go live around 9 a.m. Uh, West Coast time tomorrow. Uh, might miss a little bit of six mod as they start, uh, but we will definitely be late on, on uh, when nine mod and open mod are running for then, and then the king titles later in the afternoon. So oh yeah, giving it everything he's got right there, making speed down low. That's crazy. If if Sam's time doesn't count and keith didn't make it over which i mean the timing lights didn't trip that's two huge right, opportunities for other guys to get an open mod and Red then Mix also win open there. mod tomorrow check it out this is your last chance to buy them here on the property you're gonna want them being prepared is always a good so thing tell your friends tomorrow we're watching finals here on my youtube channel little mini fire it's gonna be players. epic you'll be able to start wet wood with those things no problem at all but they will not be here tomorrow so if you're procrastinating yo not a good time to do love it, it. 139 a9 for cameron lindsay big finish and if you guys are, uh, if you if you haven't liked the stream, make sure you give the stream a like, and then you're also subscribed to my channel. Right I would love that. Feels good apparently to get over the top here. Jackson's Growth Racer number 192 Tavern. We got 150 people in the chat. Only 68 likes on the video. So, come on, takes two seconds. Like the video. Thanks. All right, Tavern Rep brought oh, 83 likes. I refresh. Thanks, guys. Racing Factory, MTNK Performance, Spike Power Sports, TNT Racing, Rupp's Trucking, Zebros Racing, LT Polish Pro, ZRP, SLP, Twisted Effects, Farmer Fitness, Gates Belts, Mom, Dad, Trinity, and Tressy.
Let's get some results for you guys for nine mod. And don't forget tonight, seven o'clock, down at the fairground, Octane Addiction got X Games gold medalist, silver medalist, bronze medalist. They're all going to be down there. Freestyle show going to be flipping them upside down. You want to make sure and be down there tonight. All right, we got Rupp, age 31, out of Tremonton, Utah, Tremonton. I don't know if I could be a commentator full-time, because I can't read. I'd be the color commentator. Guys, we still got one more... Uh, heat of open mod before we wrap the day up and uh man let me tell you what some doors have been left open for these guys keith and sam uh sam is unofficial but keith did not make it over the top which is huge which means he won't he won't even qualify for tomorrow uh, in open mod so he won't be contending with these guys for the open mod championship gives him one less opportunity to uh to win the whole thing because uh there's you win your class and then there's the king runs so um there's a stock king an improved king and a mod king and then all of those guys race for king of kings at the very end of the day so just uh limiting opportunities that's why you want to be able to, uh, man, it's a bummer to not be able to, to kind of take open mod. Oh, oh man, Tavern dude, he smoked that, that rock. Had to have been a rock. Oh my I, I don't God. Know. Hey Ross, why don't you race Jackson? Instant replay on that Point in case, bro. An amazing stop. Sled just said, yep, nope. Can't go through that. Hi, Mark, for Tavern. Oh, We're my up. God. Gonna wrap up I just class. watched it again on my Speaking my streams a little bit delayed. Oh, my God. No pressure. There we go. Here we go. Instant See, replay. exactly happened? I just saw the sled stop and his feet go and everything go. Coming around. I don't know if it was a... Oh. Yeah, it hit something. More than snow. Tavern going under the handlebars. Wow. Wow. Hard that was hit right there. Rough. The tavern up. He's going to wind up with a high mark. And we're going to come back with heat number two right after this commercial break. We get out. Fire it up. Hook big ones. Eat dirt and get deep. Like nose deep. Track them down. We'll crack a Mountain Dew and get out and do.
Uh, when is my allergy spray gonna kick in? You need Astapro. Wide Cooperative. For 100 years, we've been your first choice for residential and commercial propane, fuels, oils, and lubricants. We service HVAC, install water heaters, propane tanks, and accessories. And yes, we'll even deliver right where you need it. Because for us, serving is more than a job, it's a way of life. We are proud to employ your neighbors and to be a cornerstone of your community. We're Valleywide. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We're here for you. Stop by Salt River Motor and let our team help you decide what best fits your adventure. Live your life wide open in a high-performance razor. Tackle anything from mountains to mud holes on the legendary Sportsman ATV. Get more done with a hard-working Ranger or take on any task or trail with the versatile Polaris General. And remember Salt River Motors for all your automotive needs. Trails West is proud to present their newly redesigned RPM Series snowmobile trailers, engineered to be the best snowmobile trailer in the business. Visit Trails West's largest RPM dealer, C&R Trailer Sales, and let the good times roll. Oh, lots of ads right now. They must be, uh, what they're probably doing, guys, is they're probably moving gates. So once, uh, once enough guys, once they run a main line pretty heavily and they have, you know, start getting down to dirt and, like, running into issues in, in places in the course, they'll move a couple gates and, uh, open up some new lines so it'll, uh, change up the racing, which is, uh, is fair going forward because... These guys, these next 14-ish riders, will be, they're battling for seven spots, so. What my little brother is trying to say is new brutalari. Here we go. We got a Lynx ad. Look at that thing. 180 horsepower, four-stroke turbo R engine. It also comes with the RE shock package to dominate any. Dude, Austin. Don't get me started with the, the commercials. <laughs>
right, we're getting ready for heat number two, but we're going to go straight to the Hit. top, Nate. All right. Oh, hang on. No, let let Nate go. Then we've got that big presentation down here. Oh, sweet. Okay, real quick, we got Cameron Lindsay up and over the top for a second time today. This is your third and final class of the day. The first one was a little bit rough. Second one was pretty good, and this one looked pretty smooth. Yeah, it felt good for sure. Feel it's always awesome to come over the top here. I had a little mishap in six mod and missed the running board, so it feels good to make it over the last two. And I just want to thank everyone that's helping me, my family and friends, and Articat, Climb, Zebros, Exit Shocks, um, Speed Shop Incorporated, ZRP, um, everybody. It's uh, a lot of work to get here. I'm super stoked to finally learning how to deal with the punches a little bit better and got a few chips on my shoulder to get off, but we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a learning process. And Cam, it's been fun <coughs> to watch you over the years as you've progressed and, and got a little more season. It's fun to see you start to understand that racing comes with ups and downs. And, you know, you, you live for the wins, but you have to deal with the losses and the struggles. Very much. I appreciate you. Um, thank you. All right, Cameron Lindsay, good job, buddy. Back down to you guys. All right. You know, I've been hanging out up here at this hill climb for a lot of years. And over the years, I've seen a really lot of neat things. Seen these guys up here do some great things. And right now, you guys are going to get to witness one of the great things that happen up here with the snow devils <coughs> and this hill climb. And I'm going to turn the mic, and you know how much I hate to give up the microphone, but I'm going to do it. Oh, bro, we know. To Mr. Brett Jansen. And y'all, Brett has raced up here for as long as I can remember. Involved with the Polaris. He was Polar with Polaris for a long time, been involved with this Polaris racing. And I'm going to turn the mic over to Brett and let him talk to you a little bit. Hey, everybody. Does anybody here know what alchemy is? All right, we got a lot of hands going up. Alchemy is a medieval uh, idea. All right, chat, help me for a second here. Let me know if you guys get an ad on my channel right now. Holy shit, look at that thing. No ad, okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to make like four dollars off this live stream. Was my first Jackson. And there was two red snowmobiles in the There we go, audio's back up. Sorry about that guys. Best friends riding them. 
Uh, I think they're later on I got the opportunity to be a part of Rimshaw. Given uh, Darren this old sled. Maybe it's one of his. We're and, gonna find uh, out. I'll show got up. Got to know Darren and uh, watch him run the Players program. And uh, one thing that came apparent, it wasn't just Darren's commitment to Polaris and winning. It was his commitment to his best friend for his team to continue to win and continue to be successful. Um, last year at Jackson, I had found this in Condon, Montana. It was in a storage unit. It had not moved in a lot of years. Uh, the owners were converting it to be able to ride to mountain use. Stock engine, stock seat, the hood was all wrong. Um, the thing about these sleds being hand built, the hoods are not stock. They don't exist. My good buddy Brett Jensen, who owns Rick Ward's twin to this snowmobile, let me borrow his one of four machines um, and through the help of a lot of really special people uh, we were able to recreate all the hand built one off parts um, it's been a fun process uh, a lot of Darren's sponsors stepped up uh, stickers, parts, anything we needed as soon as they found out that what we were doing for Darren they stepped up in a big way and uh it's really cool to see them and uh, Polaris come together to give this back to Darren. Thank you. So could we have Darren's team come on up? Dolan, I see you on the wrong side of the fence. If we can have all Darren's team come up and sign some hats and stuff as soon as they're done for just a second, we'd like to invite others that want to come sign a hat for and a jersey for Darren, please do. And then we've got one more little surprise. Come on up, all of his racers. There's a bunch of hats to sign, a couple of things. While they're signing and doing a couple of things, we've got one more little surprise. Why don't we bring that other surprise up? It's a new car. See, in, in Roscoe's world, this is where we cut to commentator, color commentator. Sorry, should have muted. We're uh, we're talking about what's going on. You know, we just can't get over the fact that Keith and both Sam Peterson are most likely not in going to be an open mod going into finals tomorrow, which leaves the door open for a lot of racers like Andy Thomas, Jay Menaberry, Blaine Matthews, all those guys who are going to battle for that spot. And uh, it's going to be exciting tomorrow. It also gives... Uh, a guy like Keith, Gage has also one more, done a remake uh, of Rick Sled. one less opportunity stickers, to uh, get himself a title a hood and uh, the take the whole thing tomorrow. We're going to bring it up, and they haven't sat together for a long Because it is years. truly a gauntlet. Yeah, let's look at some results. All right, six mod qualifiers.
Justin Thomas, Russ Tapiao, Carson Ehrman, Toby Shepherd, Shepherd, Carl Cooster out of boy Carl, Calvin Ehrman, Tanner Johnson, Cameron Lindsay. So Tanner Thomas is the last qualifier in six mod. Seven mod, Justin Thomas, Taylor Lindy, Dylan Hart, Colby Crapo, Toby Shepard, Cameron Conger. And Russ Tapiao rounding it out. So we've got some 130s here. 131 and six mod. Pro Masters, Cooster, four seconds on everybody else. 48 years old. What a beast. Nine mod first heat. Okay, so Keith Curtis, 124.3. Mason Rutledge. So he's, yeah, right at 124. Mason Rutledge, 125. Justin Thomas, 126. Blaine Matthews, 128. Sam Peterson, Andy Thomas. Wow, so that's seven. Calvin Calvin gets in at the seven spot. But if you look at this for nine mod in this first heat, I mean, all of these guys are contenders right there. And then in our nine mod second heat, Taylor Lindy, Brock Sharp, Turcott, Toby Shepard. One, two, three. Cameron Lindsay gets in. Riley Suhan gets in. Out of boy, Riley. The backcountry guy does it. He's going to go race on Sunday. He's got to be stoked. And Kyle just missing out. That's a bummer for Kyle. He was two seconds off. but. And then we don't have open mod uh, results just yet, but... I mean, this is crazy. In 9 mod, that first heat was everybody who's anybody. Yeah, 124.3 is just mental. This is one of them times you're going to want to get your cameras out. Look at those things. Jeez. Hopefully they got the carbs tuned up on those bad boys.
Uh, Darren Gould's, uh, he ran the Polaris, uh, racing hill climb, uh, team for a long time. I'm not too uh, educated on a lot of the lineage of the hill climb stuff just because I didn't really grow up watching it. Um, so. They should just go to the top. One more time, let's put our hands together for Brett dancing in this whole game. Man, you never tell. These guys figure out how to bring a tear to an old man's eye, and they sure got it done today. The announcer might be hammered. We're, we're not sure. Yo, look at that wheelie. Yeah, let's get racing. Let's watch the last guys run. What if both those sleds blew up? Just just exploded the cylinders right out the rip? <laughs> That'd be so bad. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, and Rent Cheney. I was supposed to announce that they were getting ready to tow your truck before we did that. So, Rant, Cheney, <laughs> you might want to go check on your truck because it's probably gone by now. Oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting back to the action here. One class left to go, one heat. Hey, in the Elk Club, if you have never been down here to the Elk Tent and had one of their world famous cheesesteak sandwiches you are missing out they've got some down there go pay them a visit and while you're down there stop in and see the shriners get your tickets bought and a chance to win that new snowmobile tomorrow <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We are going to enter open mod. All right, looks like we're getting ready to go two. through some number 428, Jacob Ackland, Yakima, Washington, 26, right in Skidoo. Brought to you by Ackland Pump and Irrigation, 509. Family support comes from Melissa and Holly, mom and dad.
What's also crazy about like this sport is for us, like when you compare it to, let's say motocross, those guys can go from, they can race Honda to KTM to Yamaha. They, you know, those guys are changing brands and going from team to team. Whereas this is like, you know, you will never see a Polaris guy on a factory ride get signed by Skidoo. Oh, jeez. There's just a 3D camera in there. You, jeez. Get it out. They used to have a snow bike class that just went straight up. Oh. Oh, man, that's not a good one right there. That's where the avalanche happens, I think. He'll help move in, trying to help Jacob out there. Wow. There we go. They got her shut down. All right, looks like we got him to a stop. Going to start things off with a high mark over here in the second heat of open. Mod All right, guys, let's get some instant replay. Let's get some votes going. What do you guys think? Who's taking this? I know it doesn't look like that should happen, but again, who's going to take this no heat here? I'm going to read you off no who we got in it here. Our camera operators are. It's just really hard to depict. Open mod second How heat. Steep it is up up next on deck, we got Blaine Matthews, Jackson Rogers, Zach Matheson, get a little bit Baron Gilbert, You're Andy Thomas, Brett Turcott, Colby Crapo, Riley Suhan, Justin Thomas. So our heavy hitters are Justin Thomas, Brett Turcott, Andy Thomas, Blaine Matthews. Well, well, I'll put a lot of money on, on Blaine, Andy, and Justin Thomas. Those three. Brought to you by Skidoo. Our, uh, it's SCS theirs to lose if we're being honest in, in this qualifying KYP for these guys. Power Pro, so as long as they go clean over the top, they should be pretty good. Industrial Services. Bobcat of Rock Springs, Beaverhead Motorsports, Power Pro Supplements. The Jay and Blaine Show. But let me know what you think. 50 Co. Speed Shop Incorporated. Channel Here we go, Lance Blaine. Star Valley Skidoo Insulation Incorporated. Arva Avalanche Equipment. Oxbow Gear. Carl Kuster Mountain Park. No and I'll tell you, Blaine is a hungry guy. He's been, he is, he wants a piece of the pie very bad. Blaine Matthews Spanky on the hill. Just blowing my eardrums out as he goes around the first camera here. You got to think these guys, Blaine and Andy and Justin, they're looking at their their lineup and they know that that this is theirs for the taking. So he needs to put a heater down, but he he just needs to get over. He can't win the weekend here, but he can lose it. That's the definition of hill climb racing for these qualifying days. Through 27 clean. We love to see that. 27 to 29 is about the toughest section of the course right now. 
That'll do it. One that will do for it. Blaine Matthews, we got a target one three zero five zero. On those on the skidoos, Good you can right, see the uh, two, six, seven, uh, Jackson Roger. You can see our brake rotor, right? And so Blaine is one of the guys that as he's going up course, you can see his brake rotor is glowing red. Because they don't want to let they don't want to let off boost. They want to keep as much heat and speed going they can. So he's literally just holding it pinned and burning the brake. Yeah, and Drew, so they have, uh, basically what they do is they hold their, like, reverse button, and they have a special tune that uh, makes, shuts their timing down, and uh, they can just sit there and, uh, yeah, they just, it just dumps a bunch of fuel in the motor and gets a bunch of heat in the pipe, and so, yeah, that's how they get them warm, because they put them on the track stand before and get them spinning and stuff, but on, on course, you'll see they get them, get them nice and hot so they don't miss and have any issues. All the snowcross sleds are, are the same. It's basically like the snowcross sleds have launch control in that way where they're like to the bar and they're holding the button. And then as soon as it's, uh, it goes, they uh, they drop that button and the sleds take off. And the snowcross sleds actually have a slip gear uh, built into the, to the driveline, so... They can land on the gas without breaking chains and all sorts of stuff. There you go, one thirty nine twenty seven for Jackson Rogers. One, three, nine, nine two, seconds seven. off Blaine's Fort pace. Going to racer that's seven, zero, that's seven, the difference right between the top that. guys right there. He's brought to you by Climb, Limitless Motorsport Rentals, Four Seasons, Western Design and Design, and Rocky Mountain E. Stuck in a loop there. I did not hit him. He's doing Zach Masson, he can put down a heater. I think I'm pretty sure Zach is on one of Jay or Blaine's sleds from last year. Yeah, no, I mean putting nine seconds on, uh, on it on a a minute and thirty run is pretty crazy. It's not like Supercross where. You know, a nine second lead in Supercross is pretty damn big, and uh, they do it over the course of 20 laps. Yeah, to Trinity to move to to finals, they take the the fastest times out of each heat. So, um, in each heat, you you don't race both heats. Uh, they basically just separate the racers into yeah, two different there heats. One thirty three, eighty six. One thirty three. There we go. Three three. He loves that. Six. For Zach, as we go with another skidoo race. So that's why, like, five. like Fearless Keith not finishing in, in his uh, heat race, Riding, skidoo, he, you by skidoo, he doesn't get another opportunity to qualify for open mod. <laughs> so that, that leaves the door open for everybody else in open mod tomorrow to get a, a, an open mod title. Devin Kessel on X is amazing wife, Alita, daughters, Kessel, Susanna, grandkids. And then tomorrow, as we get into, uh, as we get into the... The, the races that matter I'll explain a little bit more on how yeah, that breaks down because it can be con confusing as well alright 
We've got to get this guy up and over. I, again, I, I've got to double check, but I think he has the distinction of being the oldest person to ever go over the top here at the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. And he is determined to get it done once a year. How old is he? 64 years 64? old. 64? I'm 28 right. and you can't even convince me to go over this stupid hill. Oh my God. This is like, my dad's not even 64, and you couldn't pay him a million dollars to go up this thing. All right. Well, he navigated that like it wasn't even there. It was the one that I thought was going to hang him up a little bit, but no problem at all in the top technical section. Farron Gilbert, 64 Farron years Gilbert. old. Come on, folks. Come on, get Farron. Him. Let's get him up there. Get the get that old boy the over the line. top. Farron Gilbert. No. Oh, so oh. close right there. But you know what? He's looking around. He can see it. He can taste it. Oh, yeah, all right. They're going to move in and help him out. But you know what? He is such an amazing example to anyone who's got a little creak in their bones or whines about being sore and tired. He's like... He's like, how far did I have to go? Like, I want to get to the top even if I don't get the time. He'd rather go up to the catwalk and go down. Here comes Hill Help towing. Get a They're going right to yank him over the top. There. We love hey, to see let's that. Let's go to the heat number one Polaris leaderboard right now and see what happened. We had Cole Thomas with the fastest time of 125.30 second. Was Cash or Crash Aaron? I mean, look at that, looks guys. Like it's going to be Cash this weekend. Toby Six seconds. Spot, Cole Thomas put on, on everybody else. Cole is we'll Cole's definitely a favorite tomorrow for tomorrow. Heat one. Making it happen here today. We've got about, I think, 14 more racers to go before we call it a day here on Saturday Mod Day at the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. Yeah, we're, if we're talking about getting old, this year, I mean, it's going well. it's crazy I even being fun. time goes faster. Holy shit, Farron gets over right, the top, Aaron 64. To the Looking good. Spanky up there helping him get the mud flap out or the dirt flap, snow flap, whatever flap that is. Spanky got it covered for him, but that's so cool. Farron Gilbert getting a high mark, but holy cow. So impressive. All right, guys, here we go. Andy Thomas. All right, here we go. Race number 104, Andy Thomas, Star Valley, Wyoming, riding players. Brought to you this by is one we want to watch. Wasatch Trailer Sales, Climb, Boondockers, all racing products, River Realty, Renewed Minds, SLP. Polaris Extreme Lubricants, Carl Cyclone Sales, Gates Belt, Walker Evans, Arctic Effects, Wilkes Excavation, VP Fuels, Mom, Dad, Brian, Tanner, Cole, and all of the sisters. Six time world champion, 2017 racer of the year, still the reigning snow bike hill climb world champion. Might be holding on to that for a while until uh, we reintroduce it here. I can't remember what year the last year we did it here was, but Andy still holds the title. And you remember when they talked to him up there at the top of the hill, he was talking about how cool it is when he can hear people cheering him on going up the hill. It just gets the adrenaline pumping that much more. Helps him get his mind right.
All right, let's get him going. Oh, he's going around again. What the heck's going on? Weather looks shitty there right now. All right, folks, while we're uh, getting ready to go, I think we're going to go up top. Those guys love it when I do this to them. But I think we're going to go up top with Nate and Farron. Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got Farron almost up and over. A little bit of help, but you know what? I think that's okay. Well, with the age, and I got to have friends to help me out a little bit <laughs> as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's totally fair, Farron. So, uh, keeps going down it. What's that? Yeah, last year I had a little trouble going down it, so. Oh yeah, going down it. I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> no, it's not near as fun. Huh? Well, last year, so I thought, well, I better have some help from my friends. Yeah, that's right. Well, you're an inspiration. Uh, 64 years young, and you don't look a day over 30. <laughs> that 64 is hanging in there, but it's a blast. And thanks for everybody helping out, and thanks for everybody giving me so much respect. It's just awesome. Well, we have, we appreciate all your what a legend you know, all the years up here and all the fun and it and the crowd's going nuts watching you go up here so definitely one of the fan favorites. So what break I didn't break the record because you ha you helped me but still I still got I think I still got the record right. Yeah, you still got the record, but hey, you know what? There's next year. Oh yeah, well yeah maybe another year older I should be able to hang in another year, huh? Absolutely. So good job, Farron. Keep it up, buddy. Love you. Thanks for everybody. Thanks, everybody. All right, man, my hero, Farron Gilbert. All right, let's there. get Andy up this nuts thing. That's for you down here, Farron. It was loud, loud, making almost as much noise as you were. Here we go, race number 104, Andy Thomas, Etna, Wyoming. 28 years old, riding Polaris. All right, we love Andy. He's a homie. We don't know where he is. There he is, coming through the climb banner. Man, look at the speed down low there. That's a cool shot to get. A little different perspective of how fast they're going. Course has slowed down a little bit. 49 seconds across the first catwalk. Nine mod, we saw a couple guys hit it about 45 seconds. But this is just qualifying, so he just needs to go clean over the top and he'll be good for tomorrow. Yo. Hello. I love that shit. There's nothing quite like holding on well, to 200 is a, horsepower. A off color, but I'm going to try to put it in perspective and in, not be uh, inappropriate. But 200 horsepower, 12 feet in the clear. air, wheelie through rocks. I mean, it's just it was standing straight up. Nothing you know like it. I mean. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it. 132.40. Rearranging the furniture up there. Andy Thomas just beat wow. out Blaine. One, three, two, four, zero. Like you take Andy and Blaine yeah, and Jay and two spot right now, Kyle and Cole, all one. those that whole crew, they're all they all live really close together. Yeah, they're all really Madsen good friends. In the number three spot. So they they want to beat the Fort shit right out now, of each other, but also you know, they want everybody to succeed. Run it. You know, just that cliche race cliche eight, racing shit.
Family support coming from his wife, Reagan. He's got a good run going. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, man. That'll that do turn it. is just Into the amazing. trees. He goes out behind the trees where we can't see him. He'll help him, obviously, moving in. You can see the flashes of orange between the branches there as they move in to help. Yeah, so a sled like his i i'm assuming that is just a factory that's just a standard turbo he probably thing. races he that same the snowmobile in gonna be uh just no standard time. mod where, Tyler um, gonna wind where you can race you know just a standard factory turbo um like that sled compared to andy's is quite a bit different andy's has got he's got a lot more shit going on Tomorrow, we're going to be live for finals, guys, as we wrap this up. And it uh, looks like we got Brett Turcotte up next on deck for open mod. And uh, tomorrow's going to be awesome. We're going to see the, the fast guys well, battle again for some titles. They were talking about. So if you're bored, swing through the stream. I'm going to be live again. Tell your friends. Like the stream and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got more stuff coming. We have a really cool piece. Um second episode of now or never dropping uh potentially the end of next week once my editor cam gets everything dialed in on that and uh, it talks a lot about uh, line, myself and jay and blaine um, kind of highlighting those guys and uh Bronx, yeah it's gonna be a good one so from kamloops bc canada riding polaris brought to you by monster energy 509 cfr Backwoods BMP, LA Motorsports, Stoke Mountain Adventures, Rocks, Ibex, Push Industries, Arctic FX, Octane Addiction, Specialty Motorsports, Limitless Manufacturing, Zero Composites. Family support comes from his wife, Nikki, his kids, Hudson, Ezra, Tessa, Hannah, Mechanics Dog, Dad, Rocky, and Pat. Eight times X Games medalist, three gold, four silver, and one bronze. World's first snow bike backflip. Sea grab backflip in 2021. That's who you've got on the starting line, just sitting there meditating. Focused, what an absolute psycho Turcotte is. The run, waiting for the all clear. Gonna send it. We're gonna send him up the hill, and he's gonna be going upside down later on tonight down at the fairgrounds going to show you what it's all about right here brett turcott keeping on turcott up next line. on deck here we go i guarantee he might be cooking up something special for you it's a tall order for turcott to beat andy but uh as long as he goes clean like i said he should be in he should qualify gonna take a lap there to keep the heat in the open mod sled All right. All right, Hill is clear. Here we go. Brett Tricot. Racer, freestyler, ex gamer, extraordinaire.
little bit of a buck and a kick down there low, but he just handled it, rode right through it. No problem at all. I think it's safe to say if it can be done on a snowmobile, this guy can probably do it. In fact, I've seen him do a couple of things that I really don't think can be done. Turcotte's got the Insta360 camera mounted up. He's getting that content. Clean run so far. Oh, Ooh. finding some fresh traction, getting uh. a little out of shape there. Oh, man. Taking a little bit different line. He went for, He'll help he went high, he like out, really high in gate 25. Not sure no why he did that, at it. but Can't that's just a way. tough corner to make without being in the low side of it. And earn the titles that he has, but... That is going to wind up being a high mark for Brett. He is in on. He is tomorrow. We'll see Turcotte run in nine mod, so it's We're not over for Brett. through the class, so you never know. We've already got him in. I know he's going to be going up the hill tomorrow. Going to be backflipping tonight. Octane Addiction oh. starting at seven o'clock. I don't know if he's still. They might have moved the operation down there. It might be too light, too late to buy your tickets early, but you're going to want to get them. This is a huge crowd, and I think that place is going to sell out pretty quick. Going see the replay here. Replay there. And you see him. He stayed out of that mess that's been created. He wanted to kind of shave that corner Ooh. off a little bit. It was a great idea, but I think... See, Turcotte didn't there. have the beta said, that we yeah, had. No, not if we remember in the 9 mod run, run, somebody smoked down, that rock that ended that up high-siding high Brett. Brett. We're back up over 150 viewers. I love to see it. Let's break 200 tomorrow, huh? Next up, another Korea, uh, Canadian racer out of Crescent, British clan. Good heavens. I might have good, run out of words. Good heavens. It's been Preston, a long day for British this guy. Columbia, Canada, riding Skidoo. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. I got bad news if you came to drink all day. Last call. Time to double fist Ah, oh, shit. Drink They're closing hard. the beer garden. Five minutes. Get over there, get it done. Dane Elliott on the hill, Crescent, British Columbia, Canada. Brought to you by Skidoo FXR, Lime 9. Play Mover, Power Products, Windwell Production, Iron Tech Land Developments, Rock Tech Products, M7 Designs, Redline Turbos. Family support coming from Mom, Holly, Stepdad, Rob, Dad, Tim, and Shayna. turn going there i'm not sure if he's just trying to get down to the catwalk or it's a little too late now broke the plane of a gate he's already gone through but that's sometimes what you got to do right there turcotte's gonna get hit Folks by this slip. oh and it's <laughs> you got her shut down <laughs> oh man what a f what an event all right, this is cool. We're getting some shout-outs. we got Dr. Tim Wright. 
his beautiful wife Christina, and of course, check the dude on the left of the screen Colorado sliding down. Springs, Colorado. One of the that one of the so most cool. fun things <laughs> is uh, viewing and after out, the day's over, and I know you sli I, you slide fact, down the race course and you get to see how absolutely from just is. It's Arcadia, awesome. Florida, Acadia, Florida. It is, yeah, Austin. Uh, the the announcers are like, "Hold my mic, I gotta support. go get some refills." Dana, Courtney, Jared, Dane, and Oliver all watching in Florida, and more of the family support come from Sam and Ethan, Ashley, and Kyle in Lake Benton, Minnesota. So thank you all for watching. I got an idea, guys. Shout Next out, year, our racers here. we go to Jackson, but we still not, do cool the watch party yeah, from Jackson. We all see a lot of snow. Cause then we get guess. maybe we get a live streaming backpack. Heard the stories of how they sell these backpacks that you can live stream go, from. Number three twenty-one, Craig Gates. I don't know. We're gonna have to get some sponsors involved. See what we want to put together. From Rock Springs, Wyoming, brought to you by Base Camp Power Sports, Polaris Ice Age Performance Team, Braxton Racing, Gates Belts, Onyx Off Road, Darren Gould, and his wife Jenny and his sons, Brandon and Braxton. Oh yeah, if if Pulsiver doesn't have a wrench in his hand currently, I mean I don't know what he's doing. He's not doing his job. Get Yanni over here for the from Lynx for the live stream next year. That'd be nice. Well, it would be cool too if guys are done for the day. They could come hop in a live stream and get the mic on and talk. Great exposure. The nice part about tomorrow too is tomorrow we it's it is the fastest oh, oh god of the fast uh oh slow down to make that adjustment uh -oh. right there and once again gravity taking over the hill has there you got no out of the way sympathy. there we go just throwing Craig right over I think he steered clear of the sled but man it was after him for sure gonna have to reset that gate that'll be a high mark for Craig Gates from Rock Springs on Polaris. Got Landon Kula, Colby Crapo, Garth Kaufman, Riley Sean, Riley Sprunger, Dylan Boyce, Justin Thomas, Dolan Phelps, Brock Sharp going to end our day here of qualifying on Mod Day for the 47th Annual World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. There is your climb instant replay. You see him up there, kind of just slowed down to make that adjustment. And that, that's all it takes. It looks like he's sitting perfectly level, does it not? From the camera angle, but it is not. I mean, that's just simple physics right there. That thing is so steep. Snowmobile coming after him. While we're getting him gathered up, I want to throw out a great big thank you to Climb, the official clothing and outerwear of the Jackson Hole Snow Devils in the 47th Annual World Championship Hill Climb. And good luck to all of our Climb sponsored racers. Climb, we'll see you at the top. Articat, pre-order your 2025 sled today. Articat, the wait is over. 
However you ride, we've got a vehicle that can take your experience to the next level. Start pre-order your 2025 Link Snowmobile today. Articat apart from the rest. Skidoo. Be sure to stop by Skidoo's display for a look at their gear and nice rides. Skidoo, a new breed of winter freedom is here. From mile to mile, ride to ride, person to person, it transforms what freedom hey, means. Hey, Paul, you bad, bro. Fill your helmet Glad I can be here. And take your breath away the nice part the about my stream, time. too, is it's going to be live it after. Skidoo feeling. So uh, let's say tomorrow you guys... Uh, Fear no season. Head on over to Polaris' display uh, to get a let's picture. Let's say you guys don't, don't have time to watch tomorrow. Well, you can tune back in later and pick up you know watch some runs if you're interested whereas right. i don't know why the snow devils on their channel they just they delete the video after it's done on the line they don't upload it once again last call i, I hear it going on here even in the vip section last call get it while you can racer number 308 landon kula yeah, Colt Washington riding Articat, brought to you by Articat, Fly Racing, Boondocker, Fox, SLP, Zollinger Racing Products, BCA, Arctic Effects Graphics, Load Tracks, SSI, Makita, Power Tools. We still got a couple heaters left, guys. We've been live for four and a half hours. Jeez. Drew, thanks for stopping in, bruv. We'll see you tomorrow. Doing good packing those skis. All right, here's the tricky section. I don't know this guy, but he's from Washington, and it looks like he's on a tapio sled, so he must be running with that crew. Coming at you, one forty nine oh nine, giving it all he's got. One four nine oh nine. Ran Who over a bunch of shit, but he's Landon over Kula, the top. One forty nine. Ninety nine. Colby Crapo, St. Anthony, Idaho. Thirty. Here we go, Colby Crapo. Crapo Farms. Get yourself some Crapo fries from Five Guys Burgers. By Polaris Fly Granite I gotta say that every time that he's up. Schlinder Motos, Rexburg Motorsports, Woody's. TRF, JP Snap, his wife. He absolutely fed up that shit. 2021 Seven Mod World Champ. Several national snowcross podiums. Colby Crapo, St. Anthony on Polaris. Come on, Colby. Colby can put, he'll, he might surprise us here. And for, for us watching, I hope he does. I hope he puts a heater down.
50 seconds over the first catwalk. He's on pace. Earlier in the day, the first catwalk time to hit was about 45 seconds. So, course has slowed down a little bit in the bottom. I don't know if they moved some gates around or what, but it's about five seconds slower in the bottom. Here's a crux right here. There's got to be a nasty rut right at 25. All right, nice Here's a rod garden that got Curtis on his open mod run. Looking for the top. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Right into the bank. I Kobe think Crable that puts him in top. second or third, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. 24, 133. 2-4 for Kobe Crapo. On the line, race number 48. All right. Garth Kaufman. Garth Kaufman. Snowcross legend. This dude Alpha has raced it all. Skidoo brought to you by Skidoo, Frank May, Skidoo, XPS, Speedworks. Family support coming from his wife, Alicia, sons, Palmer, Dexter, and Theodore. And if I'm, uh, I think Kaufman might be on an RS a long tracked RS. That's the same as Wes Selby. He runs uh, a wider front end that's kind of like a snowcross sled with a with a long track because these guys have so much snowcross experience. They like make some fast in the bottom. Yeah, they they are at a disadvantage up higher, but let's let's see how quick he is in the bottom here. Uh, just a little bit faster in the bottom, but it'll be interesting to see what he does up top here. And I don't know for sure what he's running for a front end. If he's, he looks potentially a little bit wider. I think he has those. He has a Skidoo race spindles on. They're just like a taller spindle if you look at the way the front arm connects. Yeah, dude, see? That's what we're talking about. Car Kaufman's been in the game forever. Right, done with 136. 136. 13607 for Garth Kaufman. Up next, racer number 173. That should Riley do it. Sean. Riley Suhan. Comes from Golden. British Columbia, Canada. I think Riley got in in nine mod, if I if I remember correctly. So, if he gets in in open mod too, that would be awesome for this guy. Super talented. Riders. Riley does a backcountry race that he puts on every year. I don't think he's put it on this year because he's racing hill climb, but he goes and wins his own race. 509 Pro Rider style for days. Yeah, it's not about getting the time anymore. It's going to have to be a little bit faster time in order for you to get in to open mod in the second heat here. All right, so there's been seven guys over the top. So we're looking for Riley to be mid one minute and 30 second. Mid 130s is where we need him to be. Fifty seconds over the first catwalk, looking good. All right, nice. 
nice transition to the uphill side, just flying through that turn. Yep, I think that'll do it. That should get him in. One, three, six, four, five. Had a boy, Riley. Four, Riley. Sean going now. Race number five, one, five. Riley Sprunger on Skidoo out of Butte, Montana. Sprunger can do it too. Riley Sprunger's quick. He's a menace on a dirt bike too. Be followed by Dylan Boyce, Justin Thomas, Dolan Phelps, Brock Sharp. Big thank you to Teton Distributing, providing our Coors, the official beer of the World Championship. Coors Light is the most impressive beer of the world. Pepsi and West Wyoming beverages. Wyoming only, operating while serving you for over 49 years, providing our Mountain Dew, our Pepsi, all the goods. Here at the World Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. Special thanks to Sean and Fritz Valentine. We appreciate your support. Sprunger strategizing, getting the job done. One forty seven fourteen for Riley Sprunger. A little slow at the top. Seven one four. Riley Sprungers, we go to race number seven two nine. Dylan Not Boyce, sure Ricky if that's going to get him in. He'll be followed by Justin that that Thomas last Stolen gate, Phelps, the Buck trench Buck is just wrapping up our day here. It's on so Monday I mean they the are, they're literally just driving through that bottom trench now pretty climb. easily. It'll be interesting to see tomorrow. They might change some gates up, and we'll see what they do to make this course uh, you know tougher for these guys. All right, race number 729, Dylan Boyce, riding Skidoo, Rigby, Idaho. Brought to you by Skidoo Career of the Inc. Elevated riders, Frank May, Skidoo, Oxbow. And family support comes from his wife, Sadie. While we watch him run the hill, we're going to go up top with Nate and Kobe Crapo. Yeah, Kobe, uh, third run of the day, second time up and over. The first one went really good. Second one was a bit of a struggle, just just a little bit off. But that third one looked really good, bud. Yeah, no, the third one was good. I needed a little redemption, so uh, my second one just kind of hit a rock, got stuck at gate 30, and figured I had one more to race. I better just get back down. So it's it's good to get back up. Yeah, I, I can't really see what's showing up as far as rocks in the ruts, but I can see the ruts are getting deeper and deeper. They are. There's there's getting to be quite a bit of rock exposed, um, you know, and it's getting trough farther and further down. There is traction there, but you got to have plenty of speed going when you hit them. Absolutely. So good. You got to have plenty of speed of speed when you tomorrow, destroy those and, rocks. You know, hopefully you get in this open mod heat, too. And, and ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, yeah, everybody we're up Polaris, over 170 uh, viewers, which is awesome. Thanks for Justin, being here. Everybody uh, at Polaris, tomorrow we're uh, going to be live for finals as well. Um, fly. And uh, if you guys don't mind, me, man, I, uh, I appreciate you guys. Leave I a like this on this uh, stream right, job, Kobe, and uh, we'll be up, live man. again right back here on my channel. So All make sure you subscribe right. for deal. finals tomorrow. We're just qualifying today and there's been some some stuff's been mixed up, which is exciting to see. Oh, Dylan. Oh, made it through one tough part, but again, Oof. 
Didn't quite bounce it up on that little shelf that's Today's the day you see all the carnage. Tomorrow is there. everybody who's qualified. In. Those guys are pretty dialed, so you don't see quite as much carnage, but. I think we still got a couple guys who can put some heaters in as uh, as we see if you guys are just tuning in uh in open mod Keith Curtis did not make it over the top so he is not qualified for open mod tomorrow we will see him in others he does still hold the fastest time of the day at a 124 which is lightning fast the course has slowed down a little bit since those nine mod runs uh, ran earlier in the day but uh, that's kind of the shakeup for sure. Leaves the door open for a lot of guys. Also, Sam Peterson had a hiccup at the very top, and it does not appear that he uh, got got in in the first open mod. So this is open mod qualifying number two, and uh, that first that first heat was pretty stacked. But looks like we got Jay in, Blaine Matthews in as well. Um, a lot of our favorites are in, so we're excited about that. Tomorrow's going to be stacked for uh, the championship and uh, see who can win in the King of Kings. Austin, good luck. Have a good flight. We'll be back here tomorrow. See you, bro. Well, it looks like we are pretty close. Well, they no, I mean, you certainly clear. don't see as much carnage anymore just because the sleds and Getting the riders have gotten one, so damn one, good. Two, Justin Thomas, uh, Idaho Falls, Idaho, definitely, you, by you know, Saturday Maverick, earlier Zico, in the day, but kind of almost shots. before I started the Thomas stream, we started Patrick, right at Pat nine Jenkins, mod because it's, it's over, it's five Carl plus Sackle hours sales, of, of watching Renton, with you guys. Coil, spring, so, but yeah, we're definitely going to be live tomorrow and watch the Watch the guys go over the top with some speed. Neil, Vivian, Mom, and Dad. We're going to turn him loose. Justin Thomas. Getting right at him. All right, Justin Thomas. He's. I said there was a few fast guys left, and he's definitely one of the fast ones. I saw I saw some runaways this morning that were uh, before I started the stream I had I had this on on my second monitor and uh, yeah I saw some other runaways that were pretty hysterical I mean earlier in the day right before nine mod there was a lot of fog on the hill so like I mean I it was nice I wasn't even live because you could hardly see what was going on on the live stream but all right, Justin Thomas he's at 149 over the first catwalk which is on pace to be a fast run. See if we can keep it up. He's also quick to the second catwalk. Looks like he made up some time there. As we come through, we're going to look gate 26. Right here, they should change the camera for us. Yep, there it is. Right here through this rock garden, gate 27. That is where, that's what got Keith earlier in the day. And Justin has the line. These guys know where the lines are. This is going to be a heater. All right, here he goes. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. I think Thomas, that might one, be two, the fastest nine. time in one eight. This open mod that qualifier too. Scorcher right there as we get ready to go with race number one six nine. Dolan Phelps, Fishhaven, Idaho. Forty five. Tomorrow we're keeping track all the times because they don't do it for us. So I'm going to keep track of everything and I'll know exactly what the fuck is going on for you guys. Concrete non typical excavation on X Off Road, Young's Power Sports, Thomas Factory Racing, Gates, Octane Addictions, SLP, Lutz Construction. Huge thanks to Darren Gould and the whole family. Everyone say hi to Cash. Family support Hello, Cash. Comes from his son, Tegan, his daughter, Ashton, mom, and sisters. Dolan Phelps. He's been in the game for a while. He is a staple.
Bowen Phelps looks like he's headed for the top with a 147.71. 147. 7 1 for Dolan Phelps. I don't think it's that's going to get him to in. It, folks. We're just about to the end of the day here with the final racer to go. Last Race racer here, here ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this, years just want to give you guys a huge shout out for being in here with me and uh, appreciate it. We've been live for day. five hours. So if you have not liked the stream yet, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you have not seen my latest video uh, that we put a lot of work into, Now or Never, Episode 1, A Solonville Story, go check that out on my channel. We have two more of those uh, coming down the pipe. So we got Pink Pants, Brock Sharp, the last racer of the day. Absolutely blowing out my eardrums. Top gun pressure washing. Dave Berry Farms. Pacific Propane. Shepherd's Plumbing. Sharps Mufflers. Mom and Dad and Brill. Brock Sharp is quick, though. Here we go. Even though he looks like a highlighter, Brock he's Sharp. very fast. Whatever climb is paying him to wear that highlighter kit, I'll tell you what, it's not enough. Brock is moving right now. Up over through the Rock Garden at gate 27 with ease. From here on out, it should be a pretty clean run. These guys have a pretty good rut lined up. And I think we're going to see him in the finals tomorrow with that. Wow. 129.43. Not bad. Not bad at all. 129.43. He can't breathe. He's got arm pump. Sharp, and that is going to put a cap on the day here. Mod Day, the 47th Annual World Huge. Championship Snowmobile Hill Climb. Glenn, pretty darn good day of racing. All right, guys. So Thank myself. you so much for joining me. It's I will see you back here tomorrow. Good. I will be live around uh, probably Racing between 9 and 10 a.m. I'm going to keep an eye on things. We might opinion. miss some of six mod, but uh, what we really so want to see is uh, nine we'll mod and open mod tomorrow, tomorrow as they go over morning. the top for the King of Kings. Like I said before, make sure you like the stream and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, you know, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas on uh, other shit we could do to make this better. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to create stuff that isn't being done. Obviously, not many people are. Right. There's nothing else like this. So I'm glad what you guys were here. Tell your friends. If you have people that are watching the, the mainstream from the Snow Devils, make sure you tell them to send them my way for um, for our stream. Because, you know, we're, we're going to have a little bit more flavor to it for sure. So thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys later.